Hello, hello, hello! Can you guys hear me? Hello, chat. Oh, my gosh. Wait. Oh, my gosh. Wait. Wait. I haven't put out any lipstick yet. Ah! Okay, I'm back. I'm back. I... Oh my gosh. It's so early! I mean, like, not earlier than usual, but it's, it's, it's early enough that there's so many of you here. EU servers are another 45 minutes. Is it? I actually always thought that the servers would go up at the same time. Like, exactly the same time. Hi, chat. Servers are up. Yeah, server servers are up. Is it in, in in Asia? It's up. I don't know if it's not yet up in in NA or 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 Europe. It is supposed to be the same time. I think like everyone is scheduled for, you know, the same time globally. But I don't know if like Asia servers just go up earlier than everyone else because maintenance or or what. Anyway, chat. In NA, it's at 11. Like, it doesn't even go up early. For for some of you. Huh. How do I stop Discord from going to my second monitor? God. Alright. So, chat... I know that the thumbnail is like Pentaconi Journey, yes, and we are going to be doing the Pentaconi Journey, but also we're going to be starting off with viewer polls first. So, viewer polls, or polls who, viewers who are asking me to pull in your account. If you are in chat, hello, hello, please, please pay attention to your Discord DMs. Now, if you are wondering how to get into viewer polls in the future, join our Discord. There, the link should be correct. The link in the description should be correct and in the commands. Like, I've changed the Discord link several times. I have updated the Discord link several times. So if it's not, if it's not correct by now, I don't know. I think I might be going crazy. But we're going to be pulling them for now. Pulling on, pulling on their accounts for now. And then after that, we're going to jump into the Penacony quest. Hi, Cranks! Uh, choo 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 choo. All right, so we have our first viewer that has replied. We're gonna be doing this. Shikoku, are you in YouTube chat? Hello to you. Good morning while eating tosilog. Tosilog is my favorite. Silog, actually. Tosino's my favorite breakfast ulam, actually. Like, legitimately. When does the update release? The On Asia servers, it's already out. I don't know if you guys are on a different server and it's not yet out. You could check. Oh, Yuzu, Yuzo Zero Koshiro, okay.
It's out in EU2, just logged in. There you go. So yeah, chat, like, it, it's, it's become kind of, uh... What do you call this? It's common... Not really practice, but it's a common occurrence that the servers go up earlier than the expected maintenance time to finish. You know? Alright. Okay, chat, we have our first puller ready. Oh! No way! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, chat, I actually just rechecked their. Uh, this this puller's uh, message and I was under the impression that I only had one E6 S1 request and they withdrew But we actually have two E6 S1 requests and this is this is one of them. Holy holy crap. Okay Let's let's do this Let's do this. Uh, there's yeah, there's two There's two amazing so Yuzo Yuzo in chat, where are you? Uh, Yuzo has requested for an E6 S1 Acheron. Okay. And <laughs> let's see, what do they have prepared? And 600, 680 wishes. Damn, son. All right. <laughs> <laughs> chat <laughs> we're gonna start this off with a bang so Yuzo just was like uh go do any ritual that has worked before so you know what let's I they're 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 kind of um the first one today so we'll just we'll just make our own little ritual you know we'll just make our own little ritual all right, maybe maybe we can find like a cute spot, Clocky Plaza. Oh, okay, is that a stain? I like this coat. So the rituals usually involve using technique points, which we are going to do. Okay, let me just pop out chat so I can see you better. Hmm. All right, so we're gonna use technique points here <laughs> and then we are just going to pull holy shit, so I think we should try doing the Chat what do you think we should do? E0 and then s1 and then go get all the other idolans right or are we going to do? Just go all in on the character banner and then get the s1 after Oh, fi fine, Lim. That's that's fine. We'll communicate through Discord. But if if you're open, then yeah, we can we can do it today. All right. Does that hurt? Technique. Technique. So Technique. All righty. Okay. E zero S one. Oh, Yuzo said they can't chat in YouTube chat for some reason. I think it might be because I have like a condition where you have to be subscribed for X number of minutes before chatting just to prevent trolls and stuff. But all right, Discord DM says, e 0 s one first. Let's go. They're on 17 pity. Where? Oh, Gallagher. First Gallagher. So oh, that's 27. That's Pela. Hello. 37. This is gonna be 47. I don't know if we're gonna get any earlies, but this Pela again. 57. This is not looking like any any earlies. 67. Yas, yes, no, it's a no. And there's no more Gallagher's coming in. We need another. Okay. What? No way. No way. Are we going to hard pity? What is this? What is this? This is not. This is. This is. 
I didn't. I didn't. I. I. Ah! <laughs> ah! Please, please be Acheron. Please be Acheron. Please. Please. No! No! What the hell? Oh my god! I can't! No, not freaking Bailu! No! We were doomed from the start! I can't! Okay, I believe in early's Gallagher. Bring home the Galaxy Ranger, please. Oh, Jesus. This is looking so bad. This is not good for, um... For starting this- Okay, there's Akira. There's Akira. She came early this time, at least. But, like... You'd come earlier, but it's fine. All right, let's get the S1. Oh my god, this goes so hard. S1, S1, S1. How about S1 come early? In not so many pulls. How about that, huh? How about we save some wishes for the E6, huh? Huh, how about that? What do you think, Gacha? Oh, Shui Yi, okay. What do you think, Mr. Gacha? <laughs> Mr. Gacha, take the wheel. Oh, God. Okay, this is. This this has to be it on the next one, right? Like, hi, Gwenaifen. Like. <laughs> okay, this has to be it. If we lose this, I'm gonna lose my mind. Like, it's too early in the morning to be losing the 7525 on the light cone banner. It's, it, it really is, okay? Okay! We got her! We got her! We got this! Very nice! Alright, now we can put all our focus into getting those idolons! Ah! You want this luck? This has been like kind of mid luck so far. This is not the luck you should be wishing for. I've had better luck that 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 you know you could that would be a lot better for you. This is not this is uh Alright. We're going for E1 right now. And honestly, it would at this point, I think it's being optimistic. If we can reach E4. I'm being real though. I'm being real. I know you would have to be extremely unlucky to lose in the light cone banner. But you know I've done it before. I got, got the, the gotcha gods were like you wanted a challenge. <laughs> Acheron please. Please, I know, I do need that I'll hate them luck. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, it's here. Please let this be her. I don't want another Bailu. I really don't. That was that was such a smudge pull. Yes! Okay, okay, we got the 50-50 this time. Thank God, Lord. Akron finally decided to come home of her own volition. Hi, Danhong. Alright, alright. There's your E1. Now let's get the E2. Let's get that E2. Uh-huh. Oh, gosh. So the question is, how many wishes will it take? To get the next E2. And are we going to get any doubles? Are we going to get any back-to-backs? 
Like, I know getting doubles or back-to-backs, the, the chance is very unlikely. But if we're pulling this much, right? Like, probability-wise... <laughs> probability-wise, one would hope... That if we're doing 680 pulls... Oh, hi, Gallagher's. That it would it would happen eventually in just one sitting. Like, whole okay, 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 okay. Come on, come on, 50-50 win. Let's go. Another 50-50. Let's go. Come on, please, 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 please. Okay. Okay, we got Gallagher. Yes! Okay! Alright! Alright, we're doing okay! We're doing okay! We're doing okay, actually! We have E2 now! E2, we got the 50-50, we got her! Alright, 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 alright! We continue! Let's go! Let's go! Heading for E3! Gallagher, keep coming! Keep calling, keep coming, buddy. Okay, come on. We can do this. We can get the E3. We can get the E3 in soon. Come on. Come on. Give it to us. Nope, 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 nope. Come on, even even just the soft pity. I just want to win 50-50. Let's Oh my god. I'm like clenched. Scared. Nervous. Can this be another Acheron? Acheron, please. Akron, please! Akron, please! Akron, please! Yes! Yes! Okay! We got it! 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 Oh my gosh! This is E3, right? I'm losing count. Oh my god. What? Yeah! We got her twice! Yo! Yo, this is so good! Everyone, screenshot this! Screenshot this! We finally got a double in HSR! I don't know, I can't remember if this has happened to me before! This isn't even my account, but screenshot this chat, okay? Oh my goodness, holy... Holy weak buff! <laughs> We did it! Oh my god! Okay, okay. This is E4, right? E6 is possible! E6 is possible! Oh my god! Okay, now that is the luck. That is the luck I wish everyone has. Literally. That's- that's the one. That's the blueprint. <laughs> oh my god! Actually insane. We finally got the Dendro luck. Carried it over. It's Acheron luck now. And the Gallagher's are coming in. Alright, so can we get the E5? E5! Let's get the E5! Come on, Acheron. You know you can do it. Come home twice more. Alright? 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 Come on. Don't let me down now. Don't let me down now, Acheron. Don't let me down now. Shit. <laughs> Loss. 
Yes, it's Vranya. I know it's fine. It's it's still Vranya. It's fine. Ah! I still got Gallagher. Okay, okay, it's okay. Okay, we were on a win. Still though, we were on a 50-50 winning streak there. All right, Acheron, back to back. You can do it. You can do it. I know you can, girl. Okay, not back to back. Then come home early. I know you can. I know you can. Come home early, please. Twenty. This is gonna be thirty. Oh my god. I'm still so clenched. After this, like, my body is gonna be so tense. <laughs> All right, Acheron. What? Really? She, she's, she's, she's kind of resisting. She doesn't want to come home early this time. She's just like, wait a second. I'm just killing some people <laughs> before I board your train. Hi, March. What are you doing there? She's shy. She's busy. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Come on, Acheron, dear. This is... I mean, this is definitely gonna be her. Can we get a back-to-back? -back? Can we get a back-to-back, -back, though? Hi! One more. One more. And, and we can, like, wrap up here. Done and dusted. Oh, my gosh. All right. We're down to our last Eidolon. Oh, it's a back-to-back. -back. Now you give me a back-to-back? -back? Okay. Let this be Acheron. Yes! <laughs> oh my god, we fucking did it! We did it! Yes! We got the E6 Acheron, no way! No way! got the E6 Acheron chat. Oh my god. And we still have like pulls to spare. What is that? That's crazy. What? We got the E6 S1 in 560 pulls. What is that? Oh my gosh. Congratulations, Yuzo. Congrats, congrats, congrats. All right, all right. Well, we have a lot more to go. So, chat. That was just our warm up, okay? That was just our warm up. But also, we have to we have to see um we have to see if if the luck's gonna carry over <laughs> or or uh, or if if Yuzo took all the luck. So. Chat. Next account. Let's do this. Oh my gosh. So, Acheron pullers in chat, how are you all doing? Let us know how your pulls have been going. I lost two out of seven. Light cone time, they already got the light cone. A double, a back-to-back. -back. I wish everyone has that luck. Me too. <laughs> I wish everyone has that luck. All right, so our next puller is Stardust Nep. Um, I'm doing this in order of those who submitted polls and also those who are replying fast enough. Cranks, I know you were your, your request was submitted after Yuzo, but... I had to skip through the first few first because they weren't replying yet. So we're going to go through them and then I'll reach you, Cranks. Don't worry about it. All right. So. Yeah. Just in, just in case you guys are wondering about like the order. Okay. So we are going to go into what is this? Stardust Nep's account, Asia. All right. This place holds such fond memories. 
care to reminisce? Okay, Black Swan. Okay, so Stardust Nep has re Stardust Nep has requested a ritual. Um. Yeah, Stardust Nep has requested a ritual, so. We're going to quickly do that ritual because I, I of course, abide by my viewers' rituals. Alright. Um, and that ritual involves... <laughs> watching, watching a clip of our favorite Acheron Black Swan video. Just a, just a short clip, chat. Just a short clip, okay? So we're just going to, you know... Do that for a little bit. And then we're going to head back in. I like to acquiesce for my viewers because, you know, we like to do everything that can ensure a successful pull. Okay? So, we're going to be doing around, like, around this point. Let's, let's check it out. <gasps> This is like the most romantic one. <laughs> <laughs> Arguably my favorite part, honestly. More than the climax of the video. Especially this bit. When the dancing really picks up. Ah, oh, beautiful. <laughs> Okay, that's the lucky bit. That that is the that's the lucky shot that we're going to be using to bless our polls chat. All right, we're going to go back into it. Let's pick up where we left off. All right. And we are going to the counter in the reverie where the Ashel Express checked in. What is it? Life forms inside the luggage. And then we are going to pull. Alright, here we go. I haven't posted my Acheron guide yet, chat. Acheron is zero. We can do it, right? Yes. Just bring home the Acheron. Bring home the Acheron. Bring her home. You got this nep. We got this nep. We're gonna we're gonna get her. Okay, I I'm pretty sure uh we just need to win the 50-50. I'm pretty sure this isn't guaranteed. F3? I wanted a 65% keyboard. I don't have F buttons. <laughs> oh my god. She's being shy again. And you even got like a Ting Yun. Oh my god. Alright, this is it. This is it. You have enough for guarantee. Okay, nice. But... Maybe we can win the 50-50. Who knows? Yes! Yes! We got her! Alright, alright, alright. Alright, alright. The luck is carrying through. There we go. We won the 50-50. Thank you, Nep, for letting us pull on your account. Congratulations on your E0 Acheron. There she is! She's so pretty. Oh my goodness. Alrighty. So, who is next? All right. Kush. Kush is next. Let's do this. 
I love the Pentacony music. Well, and then it like transitions to the space music, which is fine by me because honestly, the space music is still like some of my favorite music on, on the entire game. So, let's see. Oh my god, there are so many buttons in this thing. All right. Kush is next. Let's go. All right, chat. Hi, Guoba. How are you doing? Nice cameo on the Brax Guide. Thanks. <laughs> it, it was a whole thing. Maybe I'll get him to cameo in one of my guides. How's that? We actually successfully got an E6-S1 Acheron for someone. The devil and Bulbot. Oh dear. Okay. Oh my god, it's playing the song! Everyone stop! It's playing the song! No! Oh my god. Oh, it's like super quiet. You guys won't be able to hear it right now, but it's it's so soft and it's so cute. Nice. All right. So, chat. Um, there's a part of the ritual that I can't do right now, but basically they asked for music and a and a PNG overlay. So we're gonna do the music, but honestly, I'm like here and 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 I'm like I would rather pull to Firefly, but it's okay. We're gonna do the music. Give me a second, chat. All right, Miss Firefly. I'm going to get out of here because she's like haunting me. Like Robin's voice and the whole Firefly song are kind of haunting me. So I'm going to move out of the parlor car. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to Pentacody, bro. Like I I need to. I need to feel uh, detached from Firefly because she her, her emotional impact is just too strong. It's just it's just too strong. All right. <sighs> okay, let's go, Kush. So we have a request for a Farina original song, which is super cool, actually. So let's take that. And it's very Pentacony coded. So let's take that and then we're going to... Oh my god! <laughs> Kush topped up, ain't no way. I can't. Kush topped up. We're gonna eat a trick snack. Oh my gosh, wait, I have to consume some I have to consume some Watch technique this. points. Okay, and then we'll eat a trick snack. And then we're going to pull. All right, I think we can do this. It's an E zero S one ass. I think we can do it. Come on, E zero S one. I'm always I'm always nervous because I. The 50-50 losses have haunted me so badly in Genshin. And they're always like the... <laughs> they're always like the worst. They're always like the worst 50-50 losses, I swear. Alright. So let's take these. Express crew roster. Oh my gosh. So let this be a 50-50 win. Come on. Hi, Gallagher. Come on, Acheron. Yeah! 
Yes, we did it. We did it. We got your Acheron. Now let's go get your S1. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Good night. Sleep well, Guova. All right. Let's get the S1. We got this. We so got this. Come on. S1. Oh, okay. I don't know if that was early. I don't know what pity we started with, but... Surely we'll win the 75-25, right? Like, surely. Yeah! Yes! Oh my gosh! We have like a perfect score on our pulley puller requests right now. Actually, we got it! No! <laughs> Kush was like, Kush was like, no! <laughs> Kush, are you okay? <laughs> Where's the guide? It's, it's on its way. It's, it's, ow, 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 my leg. Okay. Congratulations, Kush. Kush is like, no way, no way. Congratulations. Go oh my God. <laughs> okay, Kush, this is for your next, this is for your next pull, okay? You can save your funds. You can save your funds. You have a lot left, okay? But congrats. <laughs> oh my God. That's so funny, actually. All right. Next. Next, next, next. By the way, um, Mod Halavi, you can make a pinned post saying that the next, that the guides will be up soon. Like, they're on their way. No, they're not yet up right now, but they're on their way. All right, Crank, see you next. Yeah, so chat, it's just, it's it's been a rough week, okay? <laughs> It's 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 been a rough week. The guides are like they're on their way. I swear. And you will definitely know when when you know if you have your notifications on, which you should. <laughs> I hope you do. You'll know when they're out. You're so you were so prepared to just chill out your wallet. I can't. Oh my god. That's uh, <laughs> kudos to you for uh, being prepared. Speeder attack boots on her. If you're playing her with Sparkle or Branya, you can go attack boots. If you're, or you know, other advanced forward or speed effects. But like otherwise, and and this is the case for like a lot of units here. You do want to do speed boots. Um. <clears throat> Alright. Cranks is Asia server. Right? Yeah. Alright, am I pulling on my account as well? I am, but for time purposes, I'm having uh, my editor slash partner pilot that and pull on it because for time purposes, chat, and because Sprinkled I'm also racing family. against spoilers. Okay? I'm also racing against spoilers. Attack is okay too if your teammates are fast debuff appliers. Yes. Thank you, Halaby. Um Z Zios, yes, yes, you can. Actually let me let me DM you for that. Give me a second, but don't worry, like you're you're on your way. Um So we're doing Cranks' account. And, okay, I'm starting to lose track of stuff, but we're, we're almost through, actually. Go to the place where we first met Acheron <laughs> in the Reverie. Discard your worthless destiny. I hope this is it. I hope you landed me, Cranks, where we were. Where, where we were supposed to see her. So... Because I don't remember exactly which door it was. I'm gonna be totally honest, like so much happened. So I really hope it's this one. <laughs> right? <laughs> I 
And then... Discard your worthless desk. No single pulls. All right, we're standing in the door frame. And we got this. No single pulls. We just need to get... Miss Acheron. And her light cone as much as possible. <sighs> oh! Okay. We're starting on three pity chat, so it's like very, very bare pity. Oh my goodness. So I just we if we have to be like kind of pretty lucky on this if we really want to you know, if we really want to get everything, that's the goal. Top up reset, unless Cranks has actually gotten some extra stuff. Some shards in there. Alright. Alright. Acheron. Where are ya? Okay. Oh, I see. Hang on. Wait a second. Cranks? Do we get these? Oh, okay. Cranks says wait. I think Cranks is going to use the top up reset. <laughs> wait, 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 chat. Wait, chat. Top up reset, go burr. Yeah! <laughs> Alright. Let's go. We'll, we'll take this much. Akron! 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 That is the offering! That's the offering! That's gotta be it! That's got to be her! This player just shield their wallet for you! Yes! Oh my god! Let's go! We got her! Okay, now can we get that S1? Oh my goodness, look at that. Alright, S1, S1, S1. Here we go! Here we go. Absolute, absolute cinema. Oh, all right. Surely we'll win this, right? Hi, Ting Yun. Sure. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry for the stream elements bonk. Surely we'll win this. Come on, come on, come on. We do, we do this for cranks. Come on. All right, hi Shuiyi. So, this is this is it. This is it. This is. We might have to like finish all of this, but it's okay, cause we're we're this close to greatness. Come on. E zero S one. E zero S one. E zero S one. 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 Yes! Oh my god! Chat! We are winning today! Our community is winning today! Let's go! Holy crap! Oh my god! We did it! Congratulations, Cranks! Congratulations! Oh my goodness! There we go! And still some jades to spare! Oh my god! Amazing. Congratulations, Cranks. Enjoy your E0S1. Alrighty. So our next is Neapolitan. Neapolitan, are you there? Hello, are you online? 
Wait, no, I didn't want to. I didn't want to go back. Wait, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Log out. Uh. All right, Neapolitan's next. Oh my gosh, chat. We actually have so many Acheron pullers today. This is the most I've done in a while. Like, legitimately the most I've done in a while. And... I mean, totally understandable, right? Because it's like Acheron of all characters, but holy... Okay, I'm spreading... <laughs> I'm spreading luck. I lucked all over the place. <laughs> we're spreading luck and we're lucking all over the place, chat. Oh my gosh. We did it. All right. Um All right. So let's take a look at Neapolitan's request. Oh, okay. Well, very characteristic of Neapolitan. Neapolitan has uh, is pretty well known in my community for taking the um, the K-pop songs as their ritual background music. See you, Denise. All right, so there's our K-pop uh, red velvet song ready. Be on Black Swan. So we just need to be on Black Swan. The Devil in Velvet. Oh my gosh. Black Swan, here we go. And then we play the K-Pops. The K-Pop MV. All right, we're gonna pull. Request, E0 Acheron, 80 plus pulls. We got this. Okay. That was just a warm up. It's fine. It's fine. We have like 80 something pulls. So even if it's like soft pity, you know, we should be okay. We can hope for the best. Okay. We're like halfway there, I think. So we just we just need the Acheron. We don't even need the E0 this time. The that the request is simple, the ask is simple, so I hope Acheron isn't too shy today. Please let us win this 50-50. Alright. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! I'm sad! No! Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm sorry, Neapolitan! Oh my goodness! It's it's over! <laughs> it it's it's playing, it's just a bit soft. It's there. It's there. Like, I hear it. And I can see OBS is playing it. It's just quite soft. Oh my god, no! <sighs> I'm so sad. Ah! Neapolitan! Do I- do I convert? Do I convert these? We can get so many pulls from this! Do you- <gasps> Oh my gosh! Maybe like 20 more? Okay. We can do 20 more. All right. Come on. No! Okay, I'm sorry, 
Neapolitan. There's, um... That's... <laughs> That's that's it for now, unless you want to. Okay, that's it. That's it for now. Saving the funds for next time. Memories this can't be. Different. I know, right? Same. <laughs> I'm in denial, actually. I can't. I can't believe. Acheron did us like that. Well, thank you, Neapolitan. Okay, so. Our next E6 S1 puller has arrived. Thank you, K-pop. You didn't work this time, unfortunately. Thank you, Red Velvet. Yeah, it was Chill Kill by Red Velvet. Okay, start with the LC first to get it out of the way. Cool. We're gonna start with the LC first to get it out of the way. Stand next to Welt in the parlor car. If I lose to 50-50, I really want him. I love that. <laughs> Alright, so E server. There we go. Hi, Zvi! How are you? We couldn't get the, the kill this time. Yeah. Unfortunately. Akron guide on its way, chat. Oh yeah, by the way, uh mods, we need a pin post saying that the guides are Welcome to the Interastral Peace Podcast. <laughs> no. Good evening, everyone. It's Firefly again. <laughs> that the guides are are not up, but they're on their way. Welcome to a new episode of Interastral Peace Broadcast. We are here to bring you the latest news from across the galaxy. Oh. Um. The IPC and the Sienjo Alliance have renewed their trade agreement, bringing great economic benefits to both parties. The head of the armed archaeologists of the entire... <gasps> All right, chat. No, no, we can't, we can't get emotional right now. It's pull-in time. We're going to get the light cone out of the way. And then we're going to try to get E6. All right. We got this. <laughs> oh my goodness, wait. You got welt like we stood next to welt and got welt like code. I really thought we had it. <laughs> I really thought. <laughs> Fade, oh my god. <laughs> Wrong Naildi light cone. Kick wait. Oh my goodness. Please. We actually lost the 7525. How could this be? Like of all of all the probabilities to lose, seriously? Oh my goodness. Come on. Wait, you need Welt now? Well, I mean, let's see how lucky we can get, right? Let's see how lucky we can get. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Not us going through the light code. Okay, 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 here we are, here we are. Oh my god. That was that was like almost that was un unbelievable actually. Kind of hilarious but also unbelievable. Okay, we got her S1. Double? I've never gotten a double on the Lycone banner. Her S1 is here behind my camera. We got it. It's real. It's proof. All right, let's get the let's get the E6. You can't pin on YouTube, you select the message. The three dots on the message. Uh, on the right of the message. Yeah. You can just send the message and then I'll be the one to pin it. Alright. Can we get a, an Acheron that's not shy? How about that? 
How about that? Come on. Come on! YouTube is so hard to mod on. I know it is. Ah! Where is she? Oh, we got your Gallagher. We got your Gallagher, though. No, not yet? No way. Alright, come on. Come on. What? Dude, where is she? She's hiding. She's, like, lost. She, <laughs> she lost her way to this account. This directionally challenged woman. Yeah! <laughs> okay, our first Acheron. Our first Acheron. Okay, okay, okay. We got her. We got her. We got her. All right, how about our next Acheron? When is she coming home? The answer is now. Come on, come on, Acheron. Okay. Oh my gosh, these, these, <laughs> these bulls. This Acheron is making us work for it. Like, damn, girl. We've already dug into like a third, a third ish or a fourth of these pools. Oh my gosh. Come on. Let's go. <gasps> oh my gosh. All right. Let this be Acheron. Let this be Acheron. Let this be Acheron, please. Yes! We did it! We did it! We got her! We got her! We got her! Okay. We got her. We keep going. Let's go. Let's go. E2 Acheron incoming. E2 Acheron imminent. We're gonna get her. She's on her way. She's found a map. We got her GPS. Let's go. Okay, Akron, you can do this. Will we get- Oh, 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 oh! Early. Early this time, though. Yes! Okay, okay, okay! We got it! We got it! We're still getting it! We're still getting it! Okay, Akron. Okay. Yes! Good! Good! She, she, she's got it. She's got it, guys. She's got it. All right. E3. Are we getting an updated Loacha guide? Very likely not. Back to back! Wait! Oh my god! E3! Oh my god! We are <laughs> It was it was a it was a wind up guys. She she needed some time to get her bearings. Oh my god, we got it. We got it. Actually with the E3. Oh my goodness. Hello. All right. When's our E4 coming in? We've already, we got the Gallaghers. We're getting the Gallaghers, guys. Now, when is our E4 coming in, huh? Huh? Come on. I'm, I'm seeing the light. I'm seeing the light, chat. It's getting more and more possible. Come on, E4. We got this, E4. We just, we just need to win, you know? We just need to get good. <gasps> oh my god. 
Come on. Okay. It's 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 gotta be it's gotta be this one. E4, 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 there it is. There she is, there she is. E4! E4! Let's go, E4! Congratulations on your welt, Fade. Fade actually wanted welt. Like, actually. They're getting every everything they want now. They got Welt's Light Cone. And now they have Welt. And and the Acheron Light Cone and Acheron herself. That's that's hilarious. Okay, congratulations on your Welt. Oh my goodness. You got the Welt Light Cone and the Welt. That's actually like the probability of that isn't is not high. <laughs> <laughs> Especially in one day. Okay. Now we just need to bring Acheron home. Where are we at? Are we going for E4 or E5? Where where are we at, chat? I oh my god, I lost count. Who how how many do we have? <laughs> oh my gosh. So many Acherons. So 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 many Acherons. Going for E4? Okay. Going for E4. Now we need to get pretty pretty lucky on, on this next three. Oh my god. We need to get pretty lucky on these next three Acherons because it's uh I can see the tickets. They're they're falling apart, chat. Alright, alright, here here she is, here she is, here's E4. Here's E4. Oh damn, she's pretty late in there. Oh my god, is she like the last? Okay. So two more. We have to we have to win the 50-50s on this one, chat. We are at 180 pulls left. That is like exactly two hard pities. It this is gonna cut so close. We, but it's doable. It's winnable. It's gonna cut close, but it's winnable. And we can do this. Right, chat? Oh my goodness. I'm so... <laughs> I'm so scared, actually. Ah! We will win. We will win for Fade. Let the E6 pullers... B E six havers. All right, here she is. Here she is. Here she is. Akron, 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 Akron. Yes. Okay, one more. One more to go. One more to go. Hi, Gallagher. Okay, one more to go. I mean, we have a lot of stuff to convert to tickets, actually. If worse comes to worse. Like, we have a lot <laughs> to convert. Alright, one more. We are, we are almost there. I can feel it. I can taste it. Okay, E6 Acheron. She's coming. She's getting here. She's on her way. Oh my god. Yo. This is... <gasps> alright, alright. Come on. Okay, this is it. This is the moment of truth. Do we win this 50-50? Do we get our E6 Acheron? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, Gallagher. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> we brought home another Branya. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. We brought home another.
another Branya. I can't. Excuse me. Hi, Branya. It's nice to see you, but also wait. Wait, 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 wait. We have a lot of starlight. We have a lot of starlight to convert. Fade. Shall we convert? Shall we convert all that starlight? Do we do it? Okay. We got the Branya. It's 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 fine. Convert everything. Okay. Oh my god, we have like 2160 of these. No way. <laughs> okay. This is it. This is this is we're going to get her. We're going to get her. Come on, Akron. I see you. I see you. You just took a wrong turn right there. But it's okay, you can take the right turn this time. And we finally got our E6 Acheron. Yes! There it is, there she is, our E6 Acheron. For Fade. Oh my god, we actually got the double. But it wasn't like double double. It was like... <laughs> it was Akron and Himiko, I can't. That's so funny. That is so funny. <laughs> okay, chat, fade. Thank you and congratulations. Now then! Okay, chat. I need to like breathe for a second. That was so much adrenaline. Okay, Jackie is next. Whoa. Luna's trying to get in. Luna, <laughs> bro, bro, my my bunnies are kind of going uh, crazy. Okay, chat. So our next puller, we have two more to go. Like, there are literally so many requests, but it's fine. Like, it's totally understandable. It's Acheron. Right? Sheesh. Okay. So, guys, if you didn't know, Jackie is actually one of my editors. Um, if you, if you have recently seen the Fast Equip video... That was Jackie's work. Bunny is channeling pom pom energy. <laughs> okay, cute though. All right, and Jackie is going to be requesting easier than S one. We're gonna be attempting easier than S one. All right. Let's do it. Let's do this. Stand exactly where you're logged in. Then on the standard banner, do a single pull plus a 10 pull. Then do a singular pull on Akron's banner and afterwards go ham. It's getting late. All right, Jackie. We got this. So, first on the standard. <laughs> you have so many tickets. <laughs> One plus ten. Luna! Oh my gosh. 
Luna wanted to drink water, guys. <laughs> okay. Luna just wanted to drink water. Alright. Woo! One plus ten. This is part of the ritual, guys. No, actually, we're gonna pull... <laughs> we're gonna put everything on a standard banner. And you're gonna get a five star. <laughs> oh my god. Congrats on your Clara light cone, Jackie. Alrighty. From that standard banner pull. Now we go for Acheron and we're going to do one singular pull. And then we're gonna go ham. So we're starting on like three something pity. But now we go ham. That's something. It is something. <laughs> It's definitely something. You got your first Gallagher. Congrats. Alright. Come on. Can we... Oh. Early. Wait. Is this it? Is this it? Come on, come on, come on. Come on, Acheron. Yes! Oh, we did it! Okay, 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 we can get your S1! We can get your S1, Jackie! Okay! Okay, let's do it! Let's get your S1! Oh my god! Okay! Here we go! Oh my goodness! Actually, quite early! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hi, Hajime. I think my bunnies are being weird, Chad. I need to go to the lottery or something. <laughs> okay. Oh, you got a Misha. You can't see him. He's behind my uh, frame, but you got a Misha. All right. Come on. Come on, S1. Let's go, S1. I... We're almost there. We're so close. We're so close, I can feel it. Okay, this is gonna be it. I'm... <laughs> this is gonna be it, come on. Holy shit, no way. <laughs> Do I keep pulling? <laughs> we keep pulling. We keep pulling. Oh my god. Welt, please. Welt, I thought we were over this. I can't. We lost the 75-25 both times to Welt. How did we do that? Like, what are the chances? Welt, come on, buddy. All right, we're trying our best here. I'm going to I'm going to use the Starlight Exchange. You already have S to Welt. That's so funny. That's oh my god. Okay, let's do ten. Actually, no, let's, let's do all of it. Okay. Light cone. Light cone. Light cone! Agron! Oh my god, we don't have enough for another temple! Come on! Kofi, yes, please don't spam. I saw your first message. 
All right. Nope, 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 If you keep spamming, we'll time out you. Nope, 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 nope. Ah! Ah! Oh my god, these single pulls are like insane. I mean, like, I'm so, I'm so sent by them. They're so high links. Please, I just want the Acheron light cone. They're insanely unsatisfying. Insane. <laughs> they're insane because they're making me go insane. Oh my goodness, no! Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Jackie. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, all right, chat. Let's let's not debate about you know whether to spend or not. Like on my channel, I always advocate for like the lowest spending options possible. I but I also present your like I I always present the options. But ultimately, spending is a person's choice. Okay. Thank you, chat. Thank you, Jackie, for that. <laughs> For letting me pull in your account. I'm sorry we couldn't get your S1. S1. But we got your... E0 early. <laughs> okay. Now we have one more puller. Zayo, are you in chat? Zayo, Zulu, are you in chat? We have like one last na pahabol. <laughs> we have one last pahabol. Alright. Gonna log in. You are last. Let's. You almost that Zyax. I know, right? Same. One more in chat. Let Abby settle down. Luna's looking at me with contempt. <laughs> Minute to get her idolins if she reruns. By the way, welcome everyone who just came in. We've been here pulling on viewer accounts. I haven't started the story yet. Zaya, the code was sent. Okay. We have gotten early Acheron a few times. We've also gotten Welt, which was... Well, one, one viewer wanted him and the other did not. A, a lot, actually. We got early... Did we get early... A well, we got the back-to-backs and we got the doubles. So yeah, those count. Okay, Zaizu, the code has been sent. So we're just waiting to verify in. All right. How have your Acheron pulls been going? Are, are you guys saving, actually? I was gonna ask, how many, of, how many of you are saving or skipping Acheron? Hi, Res! Hi, Res! Thank you for topping up everyone's luck. Hello, hello. Code is sent. Uh, you can send it to me in Discord. I haven't seen it yet. You haven't. You haven't sent it back to me. Saving. Okay, I'm not live on Twitch right now. Saving. Skipping. Yeah, Zayos, please send me the code in Discord. I haven't received it yet. Skipping in your alt account for... <gasps> oh my gosh. 
You watch the stream because you love my vibes. Oh, thank you. Thank you, chat. Um, Zai Zulu, are you there? Done? In Discord? I'm not receiving anything. In Discord? Yeah, I haven't received anything. Are you sure? Are you... Hello? In, in our Discord DM? Um... This... Okay, there you go. It's sending... It just sent now, so I think it might have been like an internet issue. Alright! We continue. Internet problem, Om. Okay, gotcha. We got him, we got him. We're just logging in. So we have 150 wishes and we are aiming for Acheron and the Light Cone. Let's go! Play twice. Killing me good. <laughs> Alright. Oh my gosh. Let's <laughs> We're not even in the parlor car and the song is here. I can't. Wait. Okay, okay, um, there's a K-pop request for this ritual, so I'm gonna get out of here so that the- so that the music doesn't con conflict with each other. <laughs> okay! E0S1, E0S1, that's- that's all we need. Three Dan Hungs in Oh my gosh, I forgot to um, show the game. But okay, we're here, we're here, we're here. We have <laughs> I forgot to switch the um, the screen, it's fine. Oh shit, early. Hi the off. Wait, this is early. Acheron? 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 Yes! Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We got the Acheron. We got the Acheron. Now we got the S1! Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yukong. All right. Oh, this is... Is this early too? I don't know what pity we started with, but that wasn't that many pulls. Come on, S1. S1. Let's go. Please. Please! <gasps> oh, maybe go like go! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. Okay! Alright. Well, we still have pulls for more. We still have pulls for the S1. It's okay, chat. It's not over, okay? It's not Jover. That came kind of early. That came kind of early. It's okay. How did I lose on the light cone banner three times? Seriously? Honestly? Why? It's... <laughs> it's never Jover. Come on. Come on. Come 
Come on. Replay, replay the song, replay the song. Okay. Do we get Gallagher? Oh, here it is. Here's the S1. Here's the S1 chat. Here she is. Our S1 light cone. So there's your E0 S1 Acheron. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Hi, Kaidichi. We got her. We got her. Build Pythian Acheron Idolans. Are you sure? All right. We have 20 pulls left. So let's do that. Congratulations on your E0 S1. There's your Gallagher! We got your Gallagher, congrats! We did it. We got everything. All right, Zios, thank you so much for having us pull on your account. <gasps> okay, chat. We can finally start the quest. My gosh, it's been like one and a half hours. Wow, we've been pulling for one and a half hours. That's crazy. All right. All right, then. Are you guys ready? That was crazy. Am I going to pull? I've already pulled. I had my editor pilot and pull because... In the interest of time <laughs> and the limited energy that I have. <laughs> yeah. All right, chat. So give me a second, okay? Because I need to like breathe for a bit. Okay. So yeah, um, chat, the guides are gonna be. Like, they're on their way, okay, for those who just came in and are wondering, like, where the guides are. They're on their way for various reasons, okay? it's It's been a rough week. I will just tell you now. <laughs> it's been a rough week. Like, ever since last week, even. So, no, just, just dealing with stuff and trying to keep up with stuff. So, if you're wondering, like, why... The guides aren't out yet. There's a there's several reasons, but yeah, that that one's a big one. <laughs> okay, and also attending to certain responsibilities. So we're going to be starting with the Penacony story quest. Let me just get a sweater. Uh, Luna says hi. Hi. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Okay. So, chat. Just so you know. No spoilers. No priming. Don't say, like, this is coming up. Oh, this is gonna be my favorite part. I don't know how many of you have actually started the story quest. Check message. All right. Okay, chat. Ah, oh, here we go. It's your call. It's <laughs> what kind of dance do you want? <gasps> wait, wait for it. Yeah, exactly. Am I gonna live stream the companion mission? Oh, that's an interesting idea. I haven't, I haven't thought about it actually. I, I could, I could. So, what do we have here? 
Hello, Miss Acheron! Can we change the stream title? Yes, we can. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's change the stream title. Penny Cody main quest. Okay, the stream title. We changed the stream title. I hope it showed. Yep, we're gonna do the main quest now, chat. So, if you don't want to be spoiled, it's time for you to uh, probably mute or go about your day. <laughs> or, you know, step out of stream. It's okay. I totally understand. Uh, I wouldn't want to be spoiled either. But yes, I will be playing it live so that I myself can avoid spoilers here on out. Disclaimer that I don't know if I'm actually going to finish the entire thing because I'm going to guess it's going to be around five to six hours like last time. We'll see if I have the energy to go do the entire thing because I'm not not sure. So yeah, chat, just uh, all those disclaimers, all that stuff, all of that good stuff. So... Just keep that in mind. All right, now then. I'm gonna stream for that long. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I might. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where the night will take us. Let's see. Hi, ghost. Thank you. So. The Devil in Velvet. The Delvet. <laughs> oh my god, Luna! Please, please, Luna, don't eat cardboard right now. Okay. Entered safe zone. Okay, actually, you know what, chat? Before we start, I'm gonna put Luna in her pen because I don't want her to eat cardboard while I'm like trying to, you know, listen to the emotion stuff. Luna. Dude, Gallagher's groaning. <laughs> Gallagher's groaning. Be like, okay. Anyway, let's. <laughs> oh my god. My guy. Ah, oh, friend. My expression wasn't much better than yours when I first saw this. Oh, right. Wow, we're actually picking up right where we left off. Okay, so, guys, if you don't remember where we left off, it was Robin's body. Your eyes aren't deceiving you. It's her. The famous singer, Robin. Could Robin actually... Well, first of all, can I just say that this had nothing to do with me? I'm just oh, really? an unlucky <laughs> bystander here. The family can testify for me. If you don't believe me, just ask anyone in the Bloodhound family. They hate me, and they hate the IPC. So they'd never lie. Mm -hmm. This is not where the crime happened. What I showed you was a memory. The most basic light cone manifesting tech. Authorized by the Garden of Recollection, and owned by the IPC. Whoa, okay, I don't- <laughs> I don't know if anyone's, like, talked about light cones in that way. Did you really think the Galaxy Rangers were outsiders this whole time? Mm -hmm. Panacone has made a solemn commitment to protect the safety of anyone inside a family dream. 
Any person in distress will be forcibly awakened and safely returned to reality. What gives them the confidence to make such conclusive statements? Because behind this promise is the harmony. The family's Dreamweavers link up their minds together to construct an unbreakable defensive line. Breaking through this line of defense to create death in the dreamscape. <laughs> Not even a memo keeper could do that without the family's permission. Wait, so they really did it? Breaking through this def line of defense to create death in the dreams. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's still like death in quotation marks, okay. Who could have done it, friend? The only one is her. The girl who calls herself a galaxy ranger. An imposter. An unsought guest. An emanator who hides her true identity. Yeah, yeah, to create death in the dreamscape. So is it like real death or like still death in quotation marks? Ifrit's death was a foregone conclusion. And Robin? Her misfortune was staring right at her. Who will be the next to die? Uh... I can't trust anyone. It's fine. Listen to your gut. Building trust always takes time. And I'm willing to wait. Yeah, those who are dipping out, thank you, chat, for being here for the pools. I just hope you realize that wherever that legacy is concerned, covert plans are already underway throughout Panacone. Everyone's got their own agenda. Careful you don't get stuck on the wrong side. <laughs> if I were you, I'd keep my distance from Acheron. Mm. After all, any schemes out in the open are always going to be better than a monster in the shadows. Damn. Right? <gasps> Who's to say there isn't an even deeper conspiracy lurking beneath the surface? Memo Keeper, I think our little deal is finished. Mm -hmm. Okay, which deal is that? is telling the truth. This memory is a real one. And there's no sign of any distortion grafting on. The IPC is not the Garden. And there are real limits to what they can actually do. But you know all this. Friend, let's not beat around the bush here. The thing is, I want to reach out personally to team up with the Astral Express. Oh, okay. I told you, I'm just not interested in scrambling for the legacy. I just came to Pentagoni for work. I'm here to retrieve some lost property for the IPC, if you catch my drift. I'm talking ownership of this frontier prison. Oh, dear. <laughs> this has okay. all become a bad debt thanks to the cancer of all worlds. The IPC has tried sitting down for negotiations time and again, but the family wouldn't even take our calls. You have no idea how difficult these people are to deal with. Put it this way. They've hushed up the existence of death before, mm -hmm. so they can definitely cover up any news about Robin's death. Okay. It'll just quietly float off like a bubble and pop. Nobody ever being the wiser. Wow, so, so Sunday's just gonna mourn in private, I guess. That's not fair, right? So then, friend, I need your help. Um, I've got something on, right? What kind of help? I have but only one goal. The family's front door is like a high wall. And to tear the whole thing down, I'll have to dig out a few chunks first. Once I find a weak point, the IPC will have plenty of means. Okay. Now we have our chance. So long as we can get to the truth behind her death, we can have justice for Robin. <laughs> While also gaining a valuable bargaining chip for bringing the family to the table. Okay, so the <laughs> this that, that's going to be the plot of this version, I suppose. Truly a once in a blue moon I mean, the opportunity. Objective. I've been investigating and making lots of friends all over Panacone precisely for this very moment. <laughs> Justice for Robin. This tragic news would be extremely bad for the family. So they'll be doing everything they can to stop it leaking, especially to the IPC. But I trust that there are still a few factions that remain exceptions. And that's why I need you all. 
The reputation of the Astral Express precedes you. And the Harmony will give you the fairest of appraisals. Okay. You get to find out really what happened and seek justice. And I get to put it toward completing my mission for the IPC. It's what you call a win-win situation. You want to take advantage of the family's trust in us? Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna do this one way above my pay Don't grade, Don't worry, though. just head back and talk things over with your companions. That navigator is really smart. She must understand the value of this deal. Look, here's my contact details. If you come to any conclusions, call me. Call me. Oh, and I will this. call you. A thorough investigation can always use a little more funding. Don't mention it. So long, friend. I really am looking forward to uncovering the truth about death with everyone. Aventurine just sauntered off. He really doesn't mean to force it, but something still seems off. What now? What are your plans? Black Swan. What is she thinking? Asking the real question. God, her eyes are so pretty. On the surface, this doesn't look like a bad deal for you. But Aventurine is a shrewd merchant whose scheme won't just be as simple as it appears to be. Dude, her hips are insane. He doesn't know about Miss Firefly yet. Oh. But, judging by your reaction, he may have noticed something going on. And deliberately shifted topics to the truth of death. To try and pull you in line with his way of thinking. That's quick thinking and very sound logic. Aventurine is no fool. And working with him definitely has its dangers. She's built like a freak. <laughs> <laughs> Can I toss a die and let it decide for me? up to fate. It's just how that gambler thinks. Yes, we're gamblers too, unfortunately. Anyway, be careful out there. There's more than one way to blaze a trail. In a dark forest beset by wolves, ensuring your own escape to safety should be your primary concern. As for the other questions... The death kill Rob. I'm not sure the two cases were committed by the same culprit, but that massive wound mm. looked like its winged blade. Mm. We've all witnessed it in action before. Plus, it seems unlikely that there would be two lethal entities loose in the dreamscape. I mean... Sorry, I can't answer that question. That ranger is shrouded in mystery. I'm afraid no one is capable of providing an answer. Oh, but how much but of Akron will we doubt, learn about here? She's the most special guest at this banquet. It's like Aventurine said just then. It's best to keep your distance from her. Two victims appearing one after the other in a very short time span. In and of itself, that's very unusual. Two possibilities. The collapse of Panacone's dreamscape has started speeding up, making death extremely agitated and weakening the family's protections. Or everything has been planned out and executed by someone. If someone has but if it's all the watchmakers work. first a smuggler, then a family celebrity, then this murderer's motives are worth thoroughly chewing over. It's all happened so quickly, I can only make conjecture. After leaving here, go have a chat with your companions. I hope you can clarify the source of this confusion. All right. Time to ask Kimiko for wisdom. Come this way. It's a short walk. Don't get lost. Please, Miss Erudition. Erudite us. Well, we know what happened here. This way. This is where we part ways. All of this is like a nightmare. Unfortunately, the remembrance doesn't lie. What we just saw is the reality that happened. And it won't fade from our minds just because we wake up. But follow your heart and don't be afraid. We all walk through this world casting shadows of different lengths. And ultimately, all we leave behind are precious memories. Ah, 
Hold on just a sec. The root of my ear leaving a cool sensation. She there hands a card go. over to you. A small parting oh. gift. If one day you unfortunately fall into the deep waters of the memory zone and there's no memo keeper to join you, hopefully it can guide you on my behalf. I also pay great attention to the ways of the world. Just think of this as an apology from me for hiding something from you. Okay. Then I have something private to take care of regarding that galaxy ranger. Let's leave things there. Shall we? What fascinating memories will you bring for me next time we meet? I sincerely look forward to them. Nah, she's she's appearing later on. This isn't the last time we're seeing her. I'm back. <laughs> she didn't do anything bad. Oh no, no. They know about Firefly. A family rep. Is Himago okay? Alright. Clocky statue. This is ridiculous. Hello, Brian. Welcome. How do they know about Firefly? Well, it said that the family cordoned the area off, so... I guess it became public knowledge. What a bombing! So much has happened. I should take a moment to gather my thoughts and wait for everyone to arrive. Some time ago. Oh my god, a flashback? I mean. No! Oh! That blade now, Wait! Ranger! Do you still dream, Hunter? Of those slain by your hand? Oh! Oh, wait! Days ago, Everflame Mansion. Okay, so this should be Acheron scenes. Yeah, with Duke Inferno. It appears the outcome has already been determined. Mm -hmm. We're still alive, as are you. Oh, sorry, was that too loud? We still have room to make a choice. Leave the music box behind, and then go. Choice. The bloody trail of the destruction leaves no room. The Taurus Fire Demon. Even if you sacrifice your life for that eon, you won't get special treatment. Ranger, you'll tread the narrow path of the hunt. You could never understand. We come from the fire and are born bathed in fire. We spread, burn, and destroy. Until all the kindling has burned out and we mm. leave only ashes on the ground. Mm. The burning forms the entire life of a fire demon. From the beginning to the end. We are born to die just to put into practice a profile of another universal truth. All things are created for the destruction. Man, it would have been cool to meet Duke Inferno. Your companions don't seem to think so. They fight for your chance at survival. They are my children, and just as I was, they are flames that have yet to burn my heart. They're still young, and I don't blame them. But my flames are faint. And time is running out. Can you see the planet of festivities in the distance? I plan to bring purgatory with me there. And before that, I must surpass you. Okay, but does he? Why? Because on the path they have forged, you have traveled farther. Oh. 
You cannot hide he knew your aware. identity. Draw that sword, for we shall indeed remain here, bound to fight a decisive battle to the death, for I choose this. Destruction is intense, but brief. To cravenly cling to life is to endure an endlessly prolonged existence. Even if the answer turns out to be your own destruction? What is important is not the answer, mm. but that it exists just as you exist. Everything exists to be destroyed. This is, this is so metaphysical. No Philosophical. Just as even sweet dreams may be born of the void, the so-called impossible is merely something that has yet to happen. <sighs> All right. I accept. You shall witness the most brilliant and intense fire in existence. May this flame illuminate the farthest reaches of your bottomless dream. Oh, a bottomless dream. Yes, that's right. But you've made one small mistake. This blade remains in its scabbard not out of pity or scorn. It's a personal secret that I don't want to disclose, but... Perhaps out of reciprocity. Oh, she's just gonna bring it out? I'll reveal the truth to you. Oh my. The hunt. Oh is my. Not the path I truly follow. Say it. Say it, Akron. Say it. Oh shit, she didn't say it. <laughs> May death be the end of your boundless dream, guiding you back to the waking world. Oh damn. I still see them in my dreams. <gasps> Hold it. Their time hasn't come yet. My time. I've seen many clever disguises that can conceal appearances, but they can never cover up who a person really is. And you're no different. Oh my god. Oh my god. You had no desire to kill the trailblazer. You only did what you did to drive me and the memo keeper away, but why? Is this it? Oh my god. <sighs> Did Destiny's slave make you do it? Elio? You know, Elio. I thought this is just the kind of thing that'd get written into your script. My script has always been brief. Other than that, Anything beyond that is unnecessary. He knows my nature. There is but a single destiny from which no one can escape. And until then, I hold the privilege of choice. However, you appear to be ignorant of this. So it's time for me to inquire. Who exactly are <laughs> you? Not your enemy, perhaps. <laughs> That's the golden question. Who is Acheron? Why is Acheron? That's not what I asked. I don't deserve your curiosity. Loners wandering the cosmos always have their secrets. Take me. I'm wanted by the IPC, so it's little wonder that I know something about the Stellaron Hunters. That's all. <laughs> Maybe I can help. Oh. What reason would you have for doing that? I tend to forget things. Which is why, rather than memories, I'm accustomed to using my emotions to capture what I normally wouldn't otherwise. So, I know who is inside that cold armor. Oh, shit! Tell us! <gasps> How about it? Ready to take off that armor and sit down for a talk? Oh my god, do it! It's not yet time. No! You can't just say I that! I don't need help. But I can give you a suggestion that would make things better for you and me. If 
your goal is the Watchmaker's legacy, then go look into the family. Not only are they I've covering seen the Firefly up the series. existence of death, Show us. but they're burying the past and the truth about what happens inside the dreamscape. Oh my god, that's so ominous. Already on it. And the Astral Express is no enemy of yours. I know that. I just never expected to hear you say it. What's next then? The Trailblazer's been taken by Black Swan. Will you go look for him? No need for that. No harm in mentioning that Elio's only given me one instruction. Get all of the Astral Express to track oh. down the Grand Legacy. Wow. I tried settling this in an easier and more direct way. But as that you can see, friend. here I For am now. confronting you. I failed. Can't ever go against the script. The so-called impossible is merely something that has yet to happen. That's it. Before we split, can I ask you one more thing? Is there anything else in your script about me? I'd like to know what kind of footnote I get to leave in that. It's in future red again. Foreseen by destiny. Unfortunately, not a thing came up. <laughs> I knew it. The red text is so ominous as well. Hang on. I don't. Don't what? Your first question was Do you still have dreams about everyone who died because of you? I don't. Oh. Never have. Wow. I was born without the ability to dream. I live for this cold, harsh reality. Oh my god, that's so metal. For a little light and to burn, to keep on burning until I turn to ash. Good lord. So... I really envy you. Is that so? Then you're already living in the waking world. Oh my god. Well, we learned some stuff about Sam, but we didn't learn if Sam is Firefly. We heard about Miss Firefly from Black Swan, but... We never expected Miss Robin to. Oh my gosh, chat, wait. I need to go bathroom break. BRB. Hi, chat. We're back. We're back. Oh, I'm sorry. 
that I couldn't be with you then. Reality cruises on in serenity, while undercurrents bubble up from the dreamscape. Just like that memo keeper said. Stay strong, everyone. Stay, we can still do what stay we can strong, for them. same. Starting with finding the murderer. Let's recap everything then. The trailblazer just reminded me of something. March, do you remember what that family rep who negotiated with us said? Uh, indeed, we trust that the nameless has nothing to do with this. And we also beg each of you to help assist the family in verifying the identity of the deceased. Uh, that's how it was put, in reference to Miss Firefly. Oh, okay. Do we get to know more about Firefly's identity through this investigation? Looking back, he seemed a little evasive at the time. And he also failed to mention anything about the earlier murder, too. The family's planning on covering up all news about Miss Robin's death. If news gets out, Penacony's going to turn into a bloodbath. Oh. But the murder that followed closely after was obviously beyond their anticipation. Hmm. The family had to try and turn things to their advantage by bringing in reinforcements from outside. The Charmony Festival Thanks, is State. nearly here. They must be snowed under. It may also be that Miss Firefly's murder had so many witnesses that it couldn't be covered up. So they went with the flow and let more people on the scene to control the situation. After all, the nature of the two murders is fundamentally different. The family's first protective measure should be against malicious actors among the guests, such as that IPC envoy. <laughs> Aventurine is on guard against Acheron. Indeed. He was particularly concerned about that galaxy ranger. Are we missing I think the forest for the be. trees here? I always felt that Aventurine's reasons for accusing Miss Acheron were highly subtle. Can we believe him? At this point, I'm afraid the only ones we can trust are ourselves. Damn. Look. Let's try to gather intel first, and then list all the possible outcomes we can. Then we go through them, eliminating contradictions one by one. The fewer facts remaining, the closer we are to the truth. All right. I've still got Deduction. this sense of foreboding. It's like we're stuck in a whirlpool, spinning around that legacy even after everything that's happened. Uh, this time we're playing the role of a real detective. But before we start, what are we going to say to the family and adventuring? As I see things, the family harbors no ill will towards the Astral mm -hmm. Express. If they didn't trust the crew, they wouldn't have casually commissioned outsiders to investigate a case that's in all likelihood a scandal. Yes. Plus, this is the family's turf. Teaming up with them should make things easier for us in the future. As for that adventurine, well, I'd like to hear your thoughts. He's complex. He deliberately slow played his hand during negotiations while running circles around us all the while. He appealed convincingly to both reason and emotion. Mm. It wasn't forced, but the intent was obvious. He's sly. Still, He's a peacock. It's good to have contacts among all this uncertainty. Adventurine showed his skills, and as far as our interests are aligned, he can become a reliable ally. We also need to keep a certain distance from the family. Never let them get too close. Teaming up with the IPC helps balance that out. If either side makes a move, we have the option to pull out. So you suggest accepting Aventurine's proposal to team up? Yes. It's risky, but we can only wait until both sides have played their cards before making any further judgments. I get why, but... There's a whole lot of bad guys and girls around here. <laughs> bad I'm guys and girls. Stabbed in the back. These bad people. She's been bullied a few times now, and I can't stand it anymore. It's fine. Let's focus on the big picture. Uh, you're like a broken record. Uh, forget about it. Just let me keep an eye on him. If that doesn't work, we can just turn the tables and use him instead. Oh, then, boy. Could you please reply to Aventurine? Everyone... Take this time to put together your thoughts. Hmm. We'll collaborate. Always open to pull for your game account. Wait a second. <laughs> what? What is this? Hello? Oh. 
Okay. Not adventuring pulling a silver wolf with this one. Wow, thank you for the money. That's it. Give me <laughs> Give me another hundred K rich boy. Let me see what you got. I pressed send too early. It's <laughs> Oh my gosh. Here's a little extra for good luck with this new gig. Oh my god, that's hilarious actually. Wait, that's <laughs> Uh, that depends on what excuses they prepared. Okay. Is that real? I don't know. Is it real? It looks like a venturing It is, is real. Happy with this outcome. <laughs> Let's tell everyone about it. I got the note for 200,000 credits. It's real, guys. A venturing A venturing actually like gives you stuff. <laughs> Even coming blondie. Goal <laughs> is to try and recapture Penacony for IPC. <laughs> Free 200k. To do this, he'll have to bring down the family in its entirety to create a big enough chant. The existence of death will be covered up by the family. So how does he plan on taking them down? It's got to be something important enough that everyone will notice. But it also can't be anything too out in the open. Uh, perhaps he's going for the family? He's definitely going for the family. And it's just a matter of how. The harmony is strong in Penacony, and almost impossible to take on head to head. The fact that the IPC dispatched Venturine shows that they do not intend to simply play by the book here. Perhaps he's going for Akron. Venturine has devoted considerable attention to her. But this Galaxy Ranger, yeah. we know hardly anything about her. I can't rush to any conclusions. I'm just speculating. In any case, we have to be careful when handling Aventurine. He's skilled at reading people and discerning the right moment to strike. Mm. Also, he's clearly a born gambler <laughs> if he's willing to go all in to win. He's so fit for this game. Truly. Ching Chui has competition. Aventurine said something that concerns me. Yes, well. He accused that Galaxy Ranger of killing Robin without any ah. evidence whatsoever, but said nothing about her connection to that memory zone meme or why he was stalking you. Okay. It was a groundless accusation. Unless. Which only serves to make him seem more suspicious. Uh, does Aventurine have other plans? Maybe Aventurine's goal was never to gain our trust. Maybe he wanted to foster a feeling of enmity towards Acheron and make okay. the situation more volatile. Two birds, one stone. However, I asked Don Hung back on the Express to confirm that story about the Annihilation Gang and the lost messages. It wasn't something that Aventurine made up out of thin air. <laughs> well, we know what happened to the Annihilation Gang. You've met her many times now. What's your impression of Miss Acheron? She has bad memory. <laughs> She's a, a very mysterious woman. Weird. I can't seem to rem- What? That fits the stereotype of a Galaxy Ranger to a T. They're eccentric, unpredictable, and fond of being alone. No wonder she's a suspect. Why was the text red? Chat, did any, you guys, you guys saw that? That was weird. Okay, we got the we got the weird red text again. Checked off the list. Red option, yeah, and it's the only option. I hope it's not too soon to bring it up, but I feel like. Miss Robin isn't actually dead, but that she's still alive and well. Yeah, March knows what's going Somewhere. on. But everything's just some horrible prank. It's just a prank, bro. No, I mean, I'm with Robin on... I mean, I'm with Robin. I'm with March on this one. <laughs> because aren't we supposed to be inside a dream? How could someone die in a beautiful dreamscape like this? Mm -hmm. Shouldn't only good things happen here? Mm-hmm. <sighs> so true, Whenever March. Whenever I see the Grand Theater, I just can't stop all these thoughts from flooding my head. You think the family's behind all this? No, no. 
after all, they've brought everyone this sleepy dreamscape, which everyone loves. I just feel like I'm starting to understand them less and less. Everyone's still having a great time out there on the streets. Nobody knows what's happened. It's all so unreal. As if Firefly, Miss Robin, and us were all outsiders from another world. Is everyone else just figments? Creations? Aw, what a mess. I really want a nice cool drink of soda to help me calm down. I mean... <sighs> but then I'd be just like everyone else out on the streets. Looks like Adventurine doesn't need anything else. Let's turn our attention to the family's assignment for now. Himako, what do you think? Among our current clues, the two murders that he witnessed are the most directly connected. I suggest starting here. One thing I'm curious about is, if a person dies in a dream, what happens to them in real life? How about we oh, split no! off into two groups? There are still some things worth focusing. Uh, seeing as we're at the family's behest, why not pop back out to reality and verify Miss Firefly's situation back at the hotel? Okay. On inside the dreamscape. I'll investigate those and we can link up again later. Worth focusing on? Oh. No problem. I'll leave it to you then. Huh? Aw, I thought I'd finally <laughs> get to see Himeko and Mr. Yang go out on a mission together. Oh well. Take care then, Mr. Yang. <laughs> I will. Keep in touch. Where is he going? Where's Mr. Welp going? He's going off on his own investigation. Mm. Don't Honored sparkle guest, on us. Could you come out for a second? Oh? Ah! Girl. <laughs> I'd be embarrassed too. Getting stared out like that. Twists and turns. Uh, forgive me. Uh, my name is Welt Yang. I'm one of the crew members on the Astral Express. I believe you've met my colleagues. Welt. Is there something about my name? Wait, shit, does she remember him? First, don't you want to know my name? I already do, Miss Acheron. You're a prominent figure in Panacone. What are they saying about me? Some claim that you're the real culprit behind these murders, that the Annihilation Gang's tragic fate at the banquet was a result of your blade, mm. and that you're now attempting to unleash another bloodbath on Panacone. The Annihilation Gang. Who? Ifrit <laughs> of Everflame Mansion. Tragic fate. That Duke turned his dying body to flames and sacrificed his life as a martyr. He was a determined and heroic path strider. Not even a villain should be disparaged like this. And what's more, there were plenty of suspects invited. Do they really think that a blade is more dangerous than that? black hole you're wielding. Wow, she clocked his black hole. Keen intuition. Not even the family managed to point out the truth behind this case. Oh, I so love So you must that. surely know, Miss Acheron, that peering into a black hole is not a wise move. Ooh. As a potential threat, your knowledge of us has reached uncomfortable depths. <laughs> Reveal Valid. your true identity and intentions. Otherwise, brace yourself for gravitational disintegration. Wait, what the hell? I've never seen Welt threaten anyone before. This is so actually canon. Welt, show us your true power. That shouldn't be necessary. But if it makes the nameless feel less defensive, I'll be happy to abide. Believe it or not, Galaxy Ranger, Acheron. Those are the names I go by to this very day. My trip to Panacone is solely to fulfill an old final request. Whose final request? I'm here for the Watchmaker's legacy. And that's it. I think I've been honest enough. Okay. 
Still unwilling to reveal your true identity? It's not that I don't want to. It's just that I can't. I've come so far, and I can't sum up all of that in just a few words. Huh. Everyone has their own unspeakable past. Secrets that they don't want to be revealed. And I won't be asking any more questions. Such as why the Astral Express is roaming around the cosmos with a Stellaron on board. <sighs> Aware. <laughs> is he okay? That memo keeper didn't do anything, right? He's fine. Let's stick with the topic. Gaining my trust all depends on how much you're willing to reveal. I've run around many different Panacone dreamscapes just to try and find that legacy. And during this period, I came into contact with quite a few guests. Mm -hmm. In the process, I gradually came to realize the secret of Panacone may be closely related to the Trailblaze. Well, the, the Watchmaker used to be a Trailblazer, right? Like, isn't that the, the lore or the theory? That's why I've come to ask for your help. I don't have enough proof yet, but I'd like to speculate something. The source of all tragedy lies within the family. If you could trust me, we could find the proof to support this claim together. You think the Watchmaker's legacy is a Stellaron? That's, that's a possibility. Mr. Yang, I think you've come to the same conclusion, haven't you? Let's leave it at that. For now, I'll choose to believe that you bear no hostility. So the whole thing, like, right now the family is just a big bad that we don't know enough about that we have to investigate. Share your findings with me and me alone. I don't want vague conjecture to interfere with other people's judgments before we find solid proof. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. By the way, would you like something to drink? Before we go, how about two cups of wake the heck up? No. Four cups, because the conversation coming up will last forever. What the fuck does she mean by that? That's so ominous. I've been watching her closely for a while now, and the first invitation was in the banquet hall of the hotel. She just sat in one corner, keeping silent, chugging down a couple cups of wake the heck up. I told her it's a pungent, bitter beverage, mm -hmm. not the taste of sweet dreams. Only for people allergic to soul glad. Oh. And she said, Really? But I don't taste any difference at all between them. Mm. The guest rooms are charmingly minimalist. You call this minimalist? An aesthetic you share, Miss Acheron. It's a cinch, this music box. The invitation received by the Annihilation Gang. There are latent memories that linger on it yet. You see, memories of you are not yours alone. They travel in other people, other things. I know much, and I can predict even more. With some help, the dead can be made to speak. The Annihilation Gang that band of desperados who all disappeared after meeting you. What exactly happened mm. to them? Well, let me reveal all. Okay, show us Black Swan. Oh shit, she's actually gonna show us. Gradation 12. Dreamscape 12. Father, I dedicate this to you. Well done, Dubra. Wherever they go, shall be met by annihilation. There it is. It's hazy, but it's Ifrit's voice. The other one is probably his progeny. This is the residual memory from when the invitation was first delivered. They were abruptly interrupted. Then, what happened next is... They sought refuge in the land of sleep. Merely wishing for undisturbed rest 
Away from the storms, children of the flame. This marks your rite of passage. She won't be necessary. I alone am enough. Shh. When have thou, on the path of destruction, feared death? The Everflame Mansion has set out on a journey. Those poor people, they have no idea what lies in wait ahead of them. Memory recovery is going well, but slowly. She'll be here soon, and time is short. There's nobody else here, so there's no need to be delicate. In fact, I think I'd better go all out. This was the life of the trailer. <laughs> oh. What happened? Oh, what happened to the memory? Did she not get it anymore? The memory after that is blank. How is that possible? This music box fell into Acheron's hands and she brought it to Panacone. That's a fact, and that's how it should have gone. But along the way, it's like it's been erased. Who's done this? Oh, shit. Who are you? Who are you? It's... No. Is this not a memory? Did someone bamboozle Black Swan? Oh, a memo keeper. Do you serve the Garden of Recollection? Or the Cremators? Constance? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's the... It's the one who Jen Losi voice acts, I think. My name is Constance. Yeah! A pleasure to meet you. We were supposed to meet in Pentagoni and spend an... <laughs> unforgettable time together. She was in the Annihilation Gang trailer. But that seems unrealistic. Dahlia's not welcome on the banquet store, and I don't need a coming-of-age ceremony. And you? I know what you're looking for. Want her secret? I can give it to you, and then you can enjoy the banquet for me. I wish you unforgettable memories. Oh my god. Oh. Hmm. A phone. Wanna listen in? Suspense thrillers be like. A few days ago, the IPC made an announcement. Under the watchful guidance of the Marketing Development Department and in accordance with the Interstellar Peace Charter, the independent Sigonian sovereignty has hereby been established and shall take a legislative seat at the Interstellar Congress. The formation of the Sigonian sovereignty is of great historical significance to the Sigonia system. This move puts an end to the planet's long and bloody history, turning the sensational Kataka Avgen extinction event into a distant memory. Sigonia 4 is located in an unclaimed zone at the intersection of the Denise, Pruthian, and Dorno star clusters. Mm. The planet's surface environment is known for being extremely harsh, constantly faced with the threat of impact from small-scale celestial objects. This is why very few intelligent species have made this planet their home dividing themselves into several tribes to eke out nomad lifestyles as they struggle to survive the arid desert wilderness. They have developed their own folk beliefs that are independent of the Eon belief system. Sigonia. Whoa. Sigonia. Ravenous eye of the storm, spurned by all the gods. Land of rock, but not water. Lightning, but not rain. Blood, but not tears. You beat us with your falling stars. You lash us with wind and storm. You chew us up with the cracked earth. You promise.
promised us a land of honey, yet yoked us beneath a sword of bitterness. Oh, Gyathra Triclops, if thou can hear me, please open up thy three eyes and gaze upon this child. Is this maybe a Venturine? I mean, best guess, right? When you took his father, my child was still sleeping in my belly. And where my husband went, I too soon must go. I don't ask for a peaceful death. Just for you to tell me. Does the baby swaddled sweetly asleep? Does he dream of his mother's heartbeat and the sound of falling rain? Please tell me whether this life is all just a fleeting dream. Otherwise, why would this child be born to face impending death? Except he did not. Mommy! Mommy! Oh Mommy. no! The rain! It's raining! Oh my god, he's not that baby, he can talk! Raining? <sighs> raining! <laughs> it is raining! It's true! Those outworlders weren't lying to us. They really did summon the rain. Mommy, we can leave here. We can go back home. Back home. Uh. Gyathra Triclops. <laughs> you came. <laughs> Do you hear that? <gasps> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Darling. Listen, this is the sound of rain. <laughs> On the day you were born, the sky also sent down a gift like this from Gyathra. <laughs> Such a lucky child. Such a blessed child. Just like your name. Aventurine? A gift that is from name? them. To Avgen. <gasps> My boy. Avgen May the goddess Gyathra close her eyes three times. Keep your blood eternally pulsing. Let your journey be forever peaceful and your schemes forever concealed. <laughs> Welcome to this sad world, Kakavasha. Oh, is that, is that his real name? Is that his real name, you think? Kakavasha? <sighs> Time to wake up, gambler. Oh my god! It was! <laughs> It is! Oh, heavens. <laughs> I must have drunk too much Soul Glad. Uh, didn't expect you to be back so soon. How is it? Find anything? Just as you guessed. Nobody outside knows about Robin's death. There aren't even baseless conspiracy theories. They're still streaming the rehearsal for her ceremony. Streaming the rehearsal. Using a stand -in, I guess. They must be dreaming. Of course. <laughs> Who could imagine that death would actually descend upon the idyllic dream created by the family? <laughs> Let alone that the victim would be the female lead of the Charmony Festival. To be honest with you, I didn't believe it. I even tested it a few times myself. Until I discovered that I couldn't actually die. <laughs> Whenever there's any danger, I'm forced awake by the dream pool, and it's all as if everything were just a nightmare. Mm -hmm. and that's why I'm convinced that there are a few big secrets lurking behind the scenes. Yeah. Then you must have heard about the Memory Zone meme. 
When I graciously deigned to establish connections with the Oak family on your behalf, they were quite in a pitiful state of disarray. Besides Robin, there was another body. I don't know the exact details, uh, just that it was a stowaway. Okay, so they don't know who Firefly is yet. Two murder cases? <laughs> I told you something seemed off about the nameless. Uh, he must have come across the other one. <laughs> this murderer is a psycho. But I have to admit, the case should be easy to crack. We can leverage the family's malfeasance and let the IPC use this as a reason to intervene. Uh, it's just that their trickery runs deeper than I thought. Robin's stand-in was all ready to go. <sighs> These two murders are definitely getting hushed up. Uh, what should we do? Let me think. It's too rare an opportunity to miss out on, so... I gotta be careful. Incredible gambling. Have you already <laughs> exhausted your limited repertoire of tricks so soon? Dr. Risho, oh my god. Oh, there are plenty of chips, but it'd be best to choose carefully. The most straightforward has to be Robin. Remember? That masked fool once told me to find a mute as a friend. Robin is what she calls the mute. She has lost her voice, and while most people can't pick up on it, you and I cannot mistake that sound. Not produced by any voice box, but rather by the resonance of the harmony. What? Robin's voice is produced by the resonance of the harmony? That's some, in that's some insane lore. <laughs> I mean... If that girl hadn't gone hoarse from singing practice, there'd only be one possibility. Something was up with the family. Or Robin herself. To get to the bottom of this, I tried every way I could to meet her. But she died. But she right died. Right before my very eyes. Oops. A complete and utter loss. Incidentally, it seems to have resulted in your rather undignified arrival on the interrogation stand. There were eyewitnesses at the scene, and the family, in their graciousness, has tentatively accepted your alibi. However, for the foreseeable future, you shall, regrettably, find yourself under the vigilant watch of the hounds. Enter Gallagher. Well, things aren't looking too optimistic, Doctor. I'm starting to break out in a cold sweat. D do you reckon... There's still any chance of a comeback, given how things are? I'll make... Okay. Make quinoa. Okay. A probability... Yes, it exists, but it verges on the infinitesimal. To phrase it in a matter more befitting the vernacular of Penacony, you're dreaming. Yeah. <laughs> Oop. But if you simply can't control yourself and want to try your hand, then there just so happens to be a suitable candidate. Oh? That man wants to see you again. Wait, what man? Who? Sunday? Sunday. Ah, Sunday. <sighs> Is this a public hearing or a private trial? If it were the former, it would hardly befit my stature to stoop to the role of a mere messenger. Mm. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> well, that's great. It's all great. You see, the dead can't talk, but the living can. Uh-huh. Ratio, I'm convinced now that there must be something wrong inside the family. Oh, <laughs> just you wait and see. That man's sister has died. He can't sit on his hands. Well, without any further ado, let's set off. Lead the way. The show is about to begin. Okay. I'm, I'm really curious what Sunday the has Dulai to say about Pavilion all this. The Dulai Pavilion is the Oak family's fortress and a place where heads of the families meet to discuss great plans for Panacone. Mm -hmm. Fortress? <laughs> well, I like this metaphor. I dealt with the warlords of the Amanica star system not long ago, and their synchronized orbital manner wasn't this heavily guarded. This mansion nominally belongs to Sunday and is very befitting of its owner. 
Without his express invitation, the likes of ordinary guests would never grace these grounds in their lifetimes. Look around while you still have this moment of freedom. Hey, Doc, whose side are you on anyway? Who's to say I won't sell you out? Dr. Isho's on no one's side, <laughs> we'll Bet. See. When we meet the authoritarian master of the Oak family, I'll pry an answer out of him. Follow me and I'll bring you to his parlor. Hold your tongue and let me deal with the members of the family. Oh, we get Aventurine's POV. Let's go. Okay. Here we go. Oh my gosh, I love this. Hey, you two! That's a place of business. No entry. Shush, Hendrick. I was let requested me through. by Mr. Sunday to bring him the suspect. My name is Ratio. He should have mentioned it to you. Oh, I remember you. Veritas Ratio. Your punch virtual particle clock is impressive. <laughs> Excuse me? Uh, the one on your head. Of course, it's nothing compared to my full pocket dimensional annihilating power armor of the mobile knights. What is blood yapping about? Right, and as I mentioned, that fantasy raiment of yours doesn't exist. That's because you can't see it. Like I say, only family can see the glory of the mobile knights. Ugh, enough. Get going. Don't keep Mr. Sunday waiting. <sighs> it seems like the idiocy index here is no better than it is out there. Dr. H is already so done. Oh my gosh, they can't- they won't let us view Aventurine's details. We- what? No way. I guess we'll have to wait for a battle to view his details. A dead end? The door is shut tight. Looks like we're on our own. I mean, there isn't a door. How did you get in before? For security reasons, the family built the administrative site deep in the dreamscape, with the mechanisms hidden in these Nightingale statues. The direction of the statues can be controlled. Okay, thanks. On the previous occasion, an attendant named Kona had gone to the side room to verify something before setting the statues in the correct positions. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should do the same. Let's go and take a look. Of course, we can also use brute force. Okay, I have to do some puzzle solving now. Obtain the clue regarding the Nightland Gale statues. On its way, chat. It's in progress. Oh, crap. We have to do all the climbing stuff again. Venturine replaced Acheron. <laughs> and now I and now I have two sustain units. Give me wait. Blind bet points and inflicts unnerved on a single enemy. Okay. Their effect rest increases and when they get attacked, accumulates blind bet. Okay. 
upon reaching seven points. Consumes, okay. I know. I just realized Aventurine, like, freaking took my place. I mean, took my Acheron's place. Okay. Oh, we can't. All right. So. Our paths cross once more. Ready for another dance, Memo Keeper? All right. Let's do this again. Let me through. Let me through. Okay. So our objective is to get up there. Chest. No reward with no risk. I'll take it. Okay. Go up. Fight this guy. Support. We start with some shields. Destiny is apparent. Ill fate to send. Enemy data secure. Netmark is activated. Time for a good old counter attack. Memories are beneath the water. Lies an endless abyss. Oh, they're dead. I didn't even... <laughs> Get to use Acheron's ult. Um. Okay, we can go up here now. Six nightingales facing in different directions. An obvious hint. Mm. Mm. Are these nightingales? Mm. They are. What's wrong? How can nightingales be so huge? <laughs> they look more like torment eagles to me. There are what no are torment eagles, eagles in the five families. Only nightingales. <sighs> Why am I wasting time with you on this? This is hardly enough for a seat at the table. So you turned that way. Actually, who isn't turned correctly right now? Okay, so the one's here. Uh, turn clockwise. That should be correct. Turn clockwise. Turn counterclockwise. Yeah. Then you turn clockwise. Um, one more time. Clockwise. There you go. <sighs> Just as I thought. Here's the correct answer. A truly miraculous discovery. Perhaps I should offer you the chance to join the Genius Society. <laughs> Not the sarcasm, really? bro. <laughs> well, I thought you'd given up on that all. I was being sarcastic. Yeah. Can't you tell? Unfortunately, Aventurine. Dr. Isha would not do that. Oh, impressive. <laughs> so much for Mr. Sunday's reserved, virtuous image. Do you need me to remind you? We're in a dreamscape. No matter how grand the mansion looks, it'll not affect Penicone. Stop wasting your time nitpicking the family here. Yeah, you're right. The only way to destroy the family is death. <laughs> Sunday must have thought the same. Let's head down. Mm. All right. <laughs> Sunday 
where are you? Hold on. Huh? <laughs> What's wrong? Are we heading the wrong way? No, but this door is locked. Um. <laughs> My friend, did you really make an appointment with him? It's a trial. You got to prove your worth to Sunday before you can speak with him. Damn. If I'm not wrong, we need to find a way to open this door in the hall or this place will be our prison. Oh, Yo. An escape room. <laughs> My favorite. Get serious. <laughs> I've no time for games. Let's head back. The hint is probably in that prominent sandpit. <laughs> wow. That's an enormous sandpit. I'd love to build a tall building for myself. I didn't realize they called these things sand pits, actually. Oh, look. There's a noticeable gap in the model. I believe you're right. There wasn't a gap before. That man must have done it intentionally. Well, with your brilliant mind, you shouldn't have any trouble recalling what was here last time. Right, Doctor? Of course. Let's look around. When I see it, I will know it. Fine. Fine. Why do I feel that we're pursuing a degree in burglary now? All right. Look for a clue, look for a clue. This is all to prove our worth to Sunday, guys. Enemy targets detected. <gasps> Destiny is apparent. Ill tidings manifest. I hit the mark. <laughs> I swear, none of these enemies are gonna live long enough to. To get through an Acheron ult. Or to experience an Acheron ult. Found it. This is it. Hmm. What we doing? Oh, we have to get up there. Okay, got him. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Mm hmm Uh-huh. Um, hmm. Oh, <laughs> God. Do we still have the upper hand? I hate these dinosaur things. Ready for another? Netmarker Festival. Time for a good old counter attack. Welcome. I hit the mark. Uh -huh. Get some lunch chat. It's like past lunch time here. Still waters of oblivion. Yeah. Enemy targets detected. Oh, okay. They lived. <laughs> Enemy data secure network festival. Time for a good old counter attack. Destiny is apparent. Ill fate descend. I weep for the departed. Bam. <laughs> But, oh, they're already dead, man. <laughs> it too shall fall. It's so overkill. <laughs> okay. Now we are here. Just need to get there. 
Where's the next fountain? Mm. Can this give me a fountain? Oh man. Okay. <laughs> this is hardly enough for a seat at the table. Oh, okay, okay, there we go. That's that 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 gave us a thing. Okay, so bubble charge. Now we go up there. Okay. Alright, who are we fighting next? Where is our next stop? We're almost there. Oh, there's a Hanu moment here. Okay, I don't think we need to do that though. Do un <laughs> unless should be kind of straightforward. All right. Fortune wow. Finds luck. <laughs> Just like it always does. Oh, nice. We did it. And the nameplate reads Gulliver's Arch. <laughs> well, I'm amazed you can remember something this tiny. You know, this reminds me of a tunnel I once saw that could shrink people who passed through it. If I were you, I would shut my mouth. It's wise to remain silent when you should. Bro. Doctor, you're just so blunt. Hilarious. Okay. So if that was a clue, inspect the sand pit again. <laughs> Insert the Gulliver's Arch into the slot. Oh, this reminds me of one of those building toys. You know, the, the blocks. <laughs> I've never played with them before. I wonder if it's more interesting than stacking chips. Fun at parties. He is the oh, party. Look. The gap is closed. And it fits perfectly. <laughs> so, what's next? Uh, we go through it, obviously. We go in. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, oh good heavens. D did I drink? Only I, I went through dream? it? Wait, I, th I thought Indeed. Dr. Isha would go with us. Oh, Doctor, you're huge. It's me! Down here! In the, the sand pit! Yeah, definitely brother vibes. <laughs> Actually, I think we could make this work for us. Just find a way to slip me into Sunday's collar and I'll infiltrate the family just like that. Aventurine, oh my god. Oh, fine. The brain cells. <laughs> Just kidding. Let's find a way to open the door. Check out this guy. He's just walking in place. Walking into a wall. Doctor Ratio <sighs> big. Big Doctor Ratio. All right, where'd they go? We have to go get them now. We have to go collect them now. Oh, step on me. <laughs> um, uh, we know who's pulling for adventuring then. Yo. Yo, where'd it go? Hey. It's so far, bro. You serious? <laughs> Enemy targets detected. Ching Tree Guide is not in the immediate plans. 
destiny is apparent. Ill fate descends! <clears throat> Memories are beneath the water, lies an endless abyss! Uh. Another journey begins, destined for oblivion. <laughs> Wait, I want to see if Entry's hold, actually. The dice have been cast. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Yeah. <laughs> Enemy data signet marker activated. Time for a good old counter attack. I weep for the departed. <laughs> it <too. laughs> Collects. All right. Dude, these guards are just T posing. I mean, not guards, but like NPCs. They're just. They're just T posing. <laughs> Hello? Okay. Those Acheron sound effects. True. Oh, all of them are T posing, actually. Hello! Welcome to the Golden Hour base model. Okay. I am an Oak soldier. I will be here to guide you through the tour of the base model. Okay. Happy to be of service. Hmm. And tell me about the tour. Hello! Welcome to the Golden Hour base model. I am an Oak soldier. I will be here to guide you through the tour. Of the base mall. Give it a kick. Model. Happy to be of service. Bro. Gen aiding guide. Please wait patient. I'm so scared. Stop. Stop, bro. Found the nearest check-in spot. Okay, good. Please look behind me. A capsule, a, 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 a sheen model. Model. Uh, 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 I feel like the VA of the soldier had a great time. He didn't even have time to earn a five-star rating from you. Oh my god. What's up with that? Now the family's toys are trying to frame me? I didn't do a thing to it. Dude. Oh, capsule machine. Well, there's no mechanism on the floor. Could there be one at the top? Doctor, do me a favor. Oh my god. No way. So... I was right. These models have interiors that look exactly. Oh, one of the fragments flew upstairs. I'll need to use the pinball machine to flick myself up there. Oh. But it's tough. We can do that? <laughs> oh, great. There's another pinball machine base here. And it's empty, too. Doc! I'll need your brain power again. There's no need to yell, I can hear <laughs> you. The pinball machine must be hidden somewhere in the hall. Mm -hmm. Like the arch. Wait here, and I'll be back in a minute. <sighs> Finally, a <laughs> moment of peace. Wow, we're given Dr. Ratio POV, okay. Oh crap, really? This is our team? Enemy Seriously? Detected. Not us having to contend with the story team. That's all you got? Nice like a good brew. 
full-bodied and sweet. No, why did I do that? Man. My friends? <laughs> Indulge yourselves! I didn't mean to do that, I swear. Destiny is apparent. Ill fate is said. I'm asking questions. Answer me. Zero points. <laughs> Step up, let's see ya. <laughs> what do you want to know? Ill tidings manifest. Enemy data secure. Netmark effectivated. Time for a good old counter attack. Ready for another? That's all you got? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Gallagher. Ill fate is said. Your answers? Those memories are beneath the water. Lies an endless abyss. Okay, there's, a, there's another round. Okay, sure. Commencing support. Um. In the mood for another beating? Netmark effectivated. Time for a good old counter attack. Uh. Ill tidings manifest. <laughs> Zero points. Oh, there's another one? Dude, leave me alone. Enemy targets detected. Ready for another? That's all you got. <laughs> Destiny nice, has been chosen. Like a good brew. Full butt, my friends. <laughs> Indulge yourselves! Ill fate is said. Step up, let's see ya. <laughs> SAS Perkippi. Knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. Pleasant moments of solitude are always fleeting. All right. You know, I I keep expecting Dr. Risha's voice to be like lighter and less gravelly for some reason. Oh, you're back. Just place it here. Thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm starting to like Aventurine a lot actually. Doc. Not a feeble scholar, yeah. Really, he sounds a bit harsher in other languages. That surprises me. But I guess they're they're really going for that, huh? Control panel is elsewhere. Oh, Ratio, you should come in here and take a look. The view here is breathtaking. <laughs> Honestly, you could easily squash me with just pitch. If that is your wish, I will do... Uh, all done. Piece of cake. All right, let me down. Yeah. Okay, wait. Look, this is so creepy, actually. Like, this is some... This is some creepy stuff right here. I'm not even gonna 
pretend that this is cute. It's just like, bro. Can we just take a moment to appreciate this scene in front of us? Coffin meme? True. And the joyous tour of Toy City has come to an end. Mm, makes me feel sad. <laughs> oh, Panacone isn't all bad, right? I'll use this interesting experience as a talking point at the poker table. Wow. Gambler through and through. Gotta appreciate his dedication. Congrats on your Acheron! Mm. Okay, Sunday, please talk to us now. It's a pity you made it out of the sand pit alive. Sunday is just beyond this door. From my limited understanding, he's not someone easily handled. Are you prepared? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Only I believe he's the one who should be prepared to face me. Oh my gosh, I love this. Tell I love this confidence. Plan. I don't have a plan. I'll just play it by ear. There are only two kinds of bargaining chips when dealing with people. Benefit or fear. Looks like sincerity isn't in your dictionary. Oh, chat. Am I not sincere enough? <laughs> There's no need to emphasize it. We've got to make good use of death. That man's sister is dead. He won't be able to turn a blind eye, and that's fear. There's a four-star selector this version in case in case you forgot. And Gallagher's on it, so if you just want him but you don't want to risk your pity. Yeah, wait for that. And I'll help him find the murderer. He can't do it due to his status and position, but I can. Mm. And that's benefit. On what basis do you believe he's incapable, necessitating the delegation to someone from a rival faction, the IPC? Oh, yes. Simple. Because that murderer could very well be a traitor hiding inside the family. Uh, um, do you mean the Galaxy Ranger whom you accused previously? <laughs> that was just an excuse, good doctor. There's something wrong with that woman. We need someone <laughs> who can keep her in check. It's better to minimize the variables outside our control while we execute our plans. There's something wrong with her, I don't know what. Moreover, I need to know her identity. If I'm lucky. <laughs> She could be an important pawn. And it's good to have more helpful friends when dealing with this matter. But honestly, the murder case is likely unrelated to her. I believe my standpoint. <gasps> There's a rat. There's a in the rat family. in the family. Otherwise, why would Mr. Sunday arrange a private meeting with oh. us? This isn't an interrogation, but a secret negotiation. We'll see. Using Robin's death as a bargaining chip, I'll win back my freedom and power. In the end, I'll ruin this beautiful dream and create the grandest death. Oh my god, Aventurine! If the chance of winning is just beyond this door, even if that chance is close to zero, well... <laughs> you can't win if you don't play. Ah, the charming, the charming audacity. audacity. To think that you, of all people, might emerge victorious, dear gambler. Three chips are enough. Okay, not gonna lie, I really want to see him succeed. Like, I he's he's been growing on me, and I just want to see him succeed. Like, I want to see his gall and his audacity and his nerve pull through i hope he has like the substance to back up his confidence i need to see it all or nothing another, another trauma character you do want lacha okay cool 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 there he is 
It seems my puzzles are too effortless for you, IPC Ambassador. I appreciate your words. And I see you put a lot of effort into welcoming me, Mr. Sunday. However, this is no way to greet a guest. His mouth is like colon three. Well, this isn't an invitation, but a summoning. But, oh. Before we speak, I need to test your character. Okay. I imagine this knowledgeable doctor friend of yours has been of great help. Yes? Mm -hmm. Certainly. But you ought to know this better than I do. He's already faithfully fulfilled his duties, hasn't he? Yes. The doctor has assured me of your noble character. He considers you, like himself, a virtuous person who can be trusted by the family. Okay. I have come to know you very well as a person, Mr. Aventure. Okay. You're diligent, generous, and willing to cooperate. The fact that you succeeded in overcoming many obstacles just to meet me gave me the reason to believe in your wisdom and courage. Mm. But there's one thing I must ask you. That is, you've used your wisdom at the wrong place to meet the wrong person and put yourself in a situation where you shouldn't be witnessing a tragedy that shouldn't have happened. That's a lot of shouldn't. <laughs> Am I making you anxious? Oh, whoa. If not, then it means I'm on your side. If I wasn't mistaken, you'd just made a serious accusation against the family. <laughs> no, you weren't mistaken, <gasps> for depravity is creeping in around you. Okay, they're just, they're just exchanging blows, but like, it's so subtle. I like this. Well, there's no need for us to be evasive. Let's talk about your sister. Your sister's talent is unrivaled in the world of show business. As you know, her voice has been out of tune since she returned to Penacony. What's more disheartening, she can't sing I like anymore. how it just says death. Yeah, death. Who could be responsible for this? Many suspect the culprit is among the outsiders, but I know... You hold a different opinion. Mm -hmm. Now your noble status has become a shackle, preventing you from apprehending the murderer and avenging your sister's death. You're feeling anxious because you're out on a limb. But don't worry. I'm on your side. I'm immensely honored by your concern for me, Mr. Aventurine. Since you're so selfless and generous, I believe you wouldn't ask for anything in return. Would you? <laughs> On the contrary. Well, naturally, you wouldn't incur any loss from this. I just want to reclaim what is mine. My liberty and the personal items under the family's custody. Mm -hmm. The bag of gift money and... Mm -hmm. The box in which the cornerstone is stored. That's right. Cornerstone. I've heard it's a treasured asset of the strategic investment department. A sacred stone that seals the preservation emanator. What? Granting significant power. And every liquidation specialist holds one. What is this? What is this lore drop? Suddenly the preservation emanator? Huh? For an object so precious, it probably comes at an even higher price than other forms of recompense. Well, I'm sure you're aware of the high level of risk I'll be undertaking to bring the truth to light. Mr. Aventurine, when you are out and about, do you always make adjustments to your appearance? Your tie should be on the center line. Your shirt must not protrude from your vest. Your trouser creases should be perfectly straight and always aligned with the tips of your shoes. Uh-huh. Of course. But I don't, because it's not appropriate to do so in public. You should make sure everything is presentable and in order before leaving the house. Diamond is an emanator? I'm not okay. the kind that takes risks. The cornerstone must be in the custody of the family. Damn. No room for negotiation. He looks annoyed. Please, don't let me turn you down twice. I do. <laughs> sure, the gift money is good enough. I suppose you wouldn't mind that. After all, a merchant can't function without a bargaining chip. You compromised quicker than I thought. 
Unfortunately, it's a gambler that needs a bargaining chip, not a merchant. I can give you your gift money, but before that, I want you to tell me. The fact that you can decisively forsake the box you asked mm -hmm. for. What exactly is stored in it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was a quick 180. Oh, triple-faced soul. Please sear his tongue and palms with a hot iron, so that he will not be able to fabricate lies and make false vows. <laughs> what the <laughs> hell? <laughs> Under the light of the harmony, all wickedness is revealed. I implore them to shed their light, and I'll ask you questions on their behalf. Next, you have 113 Bro. seconds to prove your innocence and gain my trust. This is escalated, oh my god. And if I refuse to answer? You can try, and we'll see if the harmony rejects you. Question, do you own a cornerstone? Yes. Okay. What a simple answer. You, too, understand that idle chatter leads only to poverty. Did you hand over the cornerstone to the family when you entered Panacone? Okay. No. Yes. Yes, okay. Does the cornerstone you handed over to the family belong to you? Yes. Is your cornerstone in this room right now? Yes. Is your memory free from any kind of tampering or deletion, encompassing but not restricted to the techniques of the Garden of Recollection? Yes. Are you an Avgin from Sigonia? Oh. Yes. You even know about that? Ooh, adventuring is unsettled. Do the Avgins have the ability to read, tamper with, or manipulate one's own or another's mind? No. Does it matter? Do you love your family more than yourself? That's an odd question. Yes. All the Avgins were killed in a massacre. Am I right? What's that bird doing there? No. Are you your clan's sole survivor? <laughs> Perhaps. Do you hate and wish to destroy this world with your own hands? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, damn. Interesting. Now, the final question. Can you swear that at this very moment, the Aventurine Stone is safe and sound in this box? like we can get an answer. Open it, Mr. Aventurine. It's your last chance to defend your honor. <sighs> okay, what's on... Mm. Mm. <laughs> Please. Are these what you're looking for? <laughs> Since you came as promised, learned doctor, does this mean that you are willing to take the side of the family in this farce? Did he get double crossed by Dr. Ratio? Kick wait. What makes you think you can convince me? 
I've heard you haven't enjoyed Mr. Aventurine's company. I also understand that you're an avid learner who sees the pursuit of knowledge above all. In that case, you ought to realize that a competent scholar knows their position and wouldn't forsake more vital matters for the sake of petty pride. Mm. If you agree to assist the family, I'll share our oh. research findings on the Stellaron. Really? You must be quite aware that, besides the family, no other faction is willing to share such information. Okay. Damn. Hmm. Cut to the chase. What do you need from me? I need Mr. Aventurine's comprehensive plan. What? All right. Haven't you confiscated his cornerstone? You can't expect a featherless bird to take flight. But I've also heard the ten elites in the strategic investment Comprise department of have united, plan, oh progressing together in the interests of the IPC. You'll have to speak more clearly than that. Hmm. <sighs> the cornerstone, which Mr. Aventurine surrendered, was it really his? <laughs> You question whether he would entrust you with someone else's cornerstone. The Ten Stone Hearts aren't as united as you think. Cornerstones are significantly more precious to them than their very own lives. Mm -hmm. But you know that he's a crazed gambler. <laughs> a crazed gambler! The more vocal he is about it, the more cautious I must be. I never imagined someone would share his way of thinking. Honestly, you should see a shrink. I'm not telling him he needs to go to therapy. <laughs> the box containing the cornerstone is unique, and only IPC senior staff and related members can access it. But I happen to be among them. <laughs> I appreciate it. Oh, so did he open it for him? Unfortunately, your guess is correct. <laughs> Wait, so this is... Yeah. The golden stone. Its color and glow are similar to that of Klepoth's body. This is the very ruse he intends to use to fool you. He won't reveal to you that the Ten Stone Hearts chisel their own will into the cornerstones, granting them an unparalleled radiance. And this golden statue is also known as Topaz, not Adventurine. And it <laughs> belongs to Topaz. I see. So... Do you wish to confront him? Uh, not at the moment. I'm more interested to know the location of his cornerstone. Mm. The safest place somewhere you'd never think of. Because he never intended to hide it. In fact, that cornerstone has been in your hands from the very beginning. There it is. I see. Aventurine colors. This bag. Mixing a cornerstone. More precious than life itself. With a bunch of worthless jewels. Disguised as a gift of money waiting to be confiscated. Is indeed in line with Mr. Aventurine's uh, style. That's why he was fine with leaving then the he makes up box, some trivial excuse. But he wanted the bag. The matter and requests the gift money. This is a gamble, one he's all too familiar with. Betting on your single misstep, leading to a total loss. Oof. Learned doctor, I am grateful for your help. The family will surely reward a righteous person like you. As for the villain, <laughs> I hope he retreats in humiliation. Oh my god, I wanted to see Aventurine win! 
It was oh, all no, thanks to your I'm so sorry to hear that. Eye, that I could add a blot of utter failure to your storied career. Oh, damn, Sunday. <sighs> Ratio, you That's wretch. cold. <laughs> Finally shown your true colors, huh? Oh, and just to remind you, you currently only have 17 system hours left to live. Treasure your remaining time and savor the delectable aftertaste of defeat. Hey, oh. <sighs> you might as well explain yourself a little more clearly. What's man gonna what do? What I performed on you just now was the Harmony's consecration. You were to show allegiance beneath the illumination of their grace. Yet you acted willfully, uttering nothing but falsehoods, transforming the consecration into a trial. Oh my god. I genuinely see no reason to absolve you from it. <laughs> is this what the harmony represents? Well, is it built upon constraint and coercion? <laughs> you misunderstand, Mr. Aventurine. Punishment is meant for the irreverent, but I have seen your resilient spirit, and thus I offer you the possibility of a new beginning. Uh -huh. Throughout these 17 system hours, you will be unable to escape the dreamscape or contact any of your companions. You only have two paths before you, and it all depends on whether you can complete my test within the time limit. Uh, okay. Should you succeed, you will be able to coalesce into the harmony and be with your family. If you fail, you will suffer the wrath of the eternal centurion what? and fall into an abyss of doom. What? This is the power of the harmony? Oh my god. Oh, sounds like I'm gonna end up the same either way. I indeed do need a servant to help me uncover the evil hidden in the family from an external perspective. I will purge the evil from the inside and bring the real culprits to justice within 17 system hours. When the time comes, compare your findings with mine. If both our findings align, or if you can provide me more insights, then they will truly be able to grant you mercy and honesty. Dude. Shameless hypocrites. The harmony's so scary. You took everything from me and still demand the truth? That isn't fair. Your carnival reeks with the stench of cash. Nothing is achievable without it. Oh my god. This is meant to be an act of personal virtue, not requiring the family's support. Your bag is over there. Do as you please. I believe you can trade this bag of worthless jewels for everything you need. That's what gamblers excel at, isn't it? <laughs> Off you go, Mr. Aventurine. You are free. I will wait here for your good news. Oh my god. That's crazy. Aventurine, no! I want to see you win! This meeting isn't an interrogation or a negotiation. It's an outright execution. Hmm. <laughs> Why would I do that, Mr. Aventurine? I'm just wondering what a passerby who stumbled upon a scene of a murder could have found out. That's all. By the way, before you go, I have a personal question. What is it now? <laughs> he mad. You... Do you truly wish to bring about the destruction of this world? Of course he doesn't answer. Kakavisha! Where did you go? Oh, are you injured? I got it back, sister. You went to look for them? That's too dangerous. It's just a necklace. It's neither food nor water. We can survive without it. I can't live without you, little brother. Promise me not to look for those catechins again. Okay? Sister, don't be afraid. The catechins are fools, but I'm smart. I played a game with them, wow. and I won. Yeah, this is Aventurine. Won? What happened exactly? His first gamble. I made a bet with them. The two birds in the desert and me. 
who will die first? I won. Wow. They suspected me of cheating, but I didn't. I won fair and square. <laughs> of course. Of course you'd win. You've always been a lucky child. Gayathra Triclops must be watching over you. But that's no reason to push your luck by going up against those... those bloodthirsty, cruel catechins. Have you forgotten how Mom and Dad... Look, this is just a necklace. But Kakavasha, you are my only family. <sighs> I'm sorry, sister. I thought you'd be happy. Because mom left you this necklace. <sighs> There'll be no next time. Well... <laughs> it is important. But not as important as you, my dearest brother. I, I don't blame you, but you must remember what mom said. Pain and poverty are the trials of Gyathra Triclops. She has also granted us a chance. And that's your good luck, Akavasha. Your good luck is the most precious wealth we all Avgen have. That's your good luck? Wait, it, huh? Okay. Luck? You're a child blessed by Gyathra Triclops and can lead the clan to happiness. So always remember to protect yourself and never resent the pain and poverty Damn. you're going through. All right? Listen to me and swear to Gyathra Triclops. Okay. We'll swear to Gyathra Triclops to protect this wealth. But sister, Gyathra Triclops was really watching over us. Then why did she not protect Dad when he was swept away by the quicksand? After all, Dad went to the Catechins land only mm -hmm. to prepare for Gyathra Triclops' offerings. Damn. And where was Gyathra Triclops when Mom was shivering in our arms? Mom was still pleading for Gyathra Triclops' forgiveness under her breath. Until the moment she closed her eyes. You in your 50-50s. <laughs> Sister, everyone praises me for being smart, but I don't get it. If every rain pour was Gyathra Triclops' forgiveness and grace, then how bad were our sins? So much so... That we were born in this world of death? Oh, Aventurine! Asking the real questions. Oh, we finished his POV? <gasps> no! But I wanted more! Um, excuse me. I'm like a fan of Aventurine now! I can't seem to find any information on this artist in the Iris family archives. The photo you provided also doesn't show any matches. Hmm, just as I thought. I'd like to ask, what kind of traces do people leave when they enter a dream? Are you referring to the records when you enter the dream pool? The equipment will monitor physiological indicators, such as heart rate, blood oxygen levels, and body temperature in real time. This data will be included in statistics and handed over to the family for the screening of any data anomalies. Mm -hmm. Immediate action will be taken once any illegal behavior is detected. Okay, that was a, that was a lot of information. Thanks. Please rest assured, your vitals are monitored in case of emergencies, allowing us to wake you if necessary. This is all for the safety of our guests. Yeah, sure. Can I trouble you to access the records? I apologize. The hotel does not have access. <gasps> this information is managed by the Bloodhound family. We can only gain access if there's a problem. Gallagher, let's Looks go. Like nothing can be found here. At least we know who to look for next. We can ask the Bloodhound family for information. Thank you for your assistance, Miss Allie. By the way, is Miss Robin doing fine? <laughs> we are looking forward to her performance. Oh, um. fine? What does that mean? Is there something wrong with Miss Robin? The preparations for the Charmony Festival have been proceeding smoothly. They don't so know. I guess things are pretty good. I mean, she I doesn't. I believe she will be able to put on a spectacular show for all of you. Hmm, I'm sure. Yeah, here we go. Hmm. Sure enough, no one knows about Miss Robin. I'm not surprised, yeah. but that Miss Firefly is truly mysterious. There's no information on her in the hotel system. Even if she's a stowaway, 
She should have a disguised identity after entering the planet. She's also in the running for the legacy. How is she going to sneak into the dreamscape unnoticed? Uh, is there any other way to enter a dream? Besides the hotel room's dream pool? Yeah, I was kind of wondering why her vo voice is so low now. I'm actually, I actually don't know. She's so, like, reserved now. The Garden of Recollection. The Memo Keepers have abilities that are difficult for normal people to comprehend. In the memory zone of Penacony, they thrive effortlessly. A fact proven to us by Black Swan. The hacker girl from the Stellaron Hunters used extraordinary means to unlock the Dreamscape Hotel's seal. According to the scene witnessed by him, it is likely that they are behind Miss Firefly's case. The Garden of Recollection and the Stellaron Hunters. Both are possible, but what about the IPC? Since they want Penacony all for themselves, they're bound to have a plan. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Who are you guys? No, oh, well. Hello. The Bravo team has arrived at their designated position. What? Ready to execute armed evacuation operation. Boss, get moving. <laughs> uh, uh, I like their voices, though. Boss, aren't you drunk? Boss. What do you know? It's more efficient this way. Just don't let the director find out. Act first, report later. Understood. Help, help me. I spent all my year-end bonus on the snowball! I don't want my name on the department's major disciplinary notice! Hey, check it out! That place... Could it be the IPC workers from <laughs> Bellabog? Oh. To all guests, the IPC will be conducting special operations hey, within the hotel. Please follow the staff in charge of evacuation to the designated safe zones or compulsory measures will be enforced. I think we might have to beat them up. Oh my god, it is so fast. You've been told not to drink during work. No, oh my god. Take him back to the hotel room. Yo. I'll organize a meeting later to properly go over how this incident report should be written. Hi, Topaz. Miss Topaz? I never thought I'd run into you on Penacony. We know where your cornerstone is. <laughs> oh, long time no see, Astral Express crew. Aventurine has told me a lot about your happenings. Hmm? <sighs> it's fine. Do as they ask and try to avoid any conflicts with the family. Report to me before taking any action. <sighs> yes, all right. As you see, the IPC isn't very popular here on Penacony. Cordiality from the family is a mere facade. The former Frontier prison has turned around and cuffed its shackles on the IPC staff now. The Pokemon event NPCs are actually voiced by- Really? They were? Only Aventurine, who carries an invitation, is allowed to attend the banquet. An entourage like us. We can only sit around in the reality hotel, unauthorized to even enter dreams. Mm. No wonder, no wonder we haven't seen her. scrambling to partner up with someone. The IPC can't back him up in the dreamscape. <sighs> His situation isn't optimistic, I hear. You're all helping to investigate some dirt on the family, are you not? Let me know if you need anything outside the dreamscape. The IPC always treats its partners well. Thank you, Miss Topaz. We're on our way to the Hounds to verify some intel. Perhaps you've had dealings with them? They both are lacking coffee. <laughs> yep. They're tailing us right now. Why not go and talk to them? They don't take the spotlight off me. Being constantly stared at is really uncomfortable. Talk to Topaz. Optional. How does it feel to be in business with Aventurine? I bet you're not used to it. That's just his style. Ball or nothing is his mantra. He's always cozying up to his clients while egging them on to undertake some dangerous assignment with him. But everyone has their merits, so I won't comment further. But Aventurine's luck has always been good. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. He's always closed all his cases without a hitch and... Basically, never lost a gamble. 
Which is why, on the issue of retaking Panna County, I'm watching with keen interest. He's blessed with his luck. <sighs> of course. It's business, after all. What's important is where you're seated at the table. As for the two cases, apologies, but I don't have much info on them either. All I can do is ask you to keep digging for more details. Hey, Bloodhound family, it's me, Gallagher. We're carrying out our captain's orders. What, what do you want? <gasps> I forgot they had accents! We made a mistake last time, and we're working hard to rectify it now. We don't have time for anything else. Surveilling the IPC executive Topaz, ensuring that she stays put at the Reverie Hotel during her time on Panacone. We've got the right one this time. So that's it. They were the pair who were after Firefly at the time. Remember me? <laughs> uh, it's you again. Back for more trouble? We're not afraid of you this time. Well, spit it out. Stop bothering us if you've nothing important. I mean... So you know each other. Uh, why do you keep running into people you've beaten up before? I've got business with your captain. Where is he? That's right. We're investigating a murder for the family. Can we speak to your captain about the case? Oh. Uh, well... Hey! The security officer instructed everyone to shut their traps <laughs> before he returned from Dream's Edge. Shut their what traps! Murder? You'd better stop spouting nonsense. Yeah, they are, they are, that's right. We have nothing to report. Please leave. Looks like they're not going to cooperate. But they did at least tell us that the captain is at Dream's Edge. Why don't we just look for the security officer then? Mm. It's probably Gallagher, mm -hmm. the one he mentioned, right? Mm -hmm. Gotta look for Gallagher. Oh, such tight security. I bet they're stumped by the case as well. Oh my god, it's him! Uh, Gallagher. Uh, Gallagher. Uh, apologies. The Bloodhound family is running an investigation up ahead. No unauthorized personnel allowed. Mm -hmm. Hold on a minute. It's me! I Remember think me? I've seen you before. Let me in! The, the gray haired one. Father, <laughs> how much trouble have you stirred up exactly on Penacony? A fucking lot, March. It's a me, Clocky. Uh, you think you look alike? How about a clockwork trick? Wait, are you for real? Not possible. It was you the last time yelling about some clockwork friendship while beating me up with that silver haired <laughs> girl. <laughs> oh no! Oh, it's the guy who we mean cry. I'm not letting you get by this time. I'm so sorry. Please leave, or I'll have to get on my knees and beg you. Oh, no. Huh? What kind of heinous crime have you committed now? Hold on, sir. We have documents authorized by the family that would aid your investigation. If it wouldn't trouble you, could we see this Mr. Gallagher? Mm-hmm. Who exactly is this Gallagher you keep talking about? There have been a few people mentioning this name. Even the one with the gray hair. What do you mean, who's Gallagher? Uh, he didn't send you all here? It was the security officer who dispatched us? Mm -hmm. That's all I can divulge. Uh, he'll do! He's the one we've been looking for! <sighs> Sorry. No can do. The boss said that since it's a matter of the family's reputation, no one's allowed through. Come on, man. Everyone, please leave. There's really no need for us to make things difficult for each other, right? Gallagher's gonna walk right We're up really to us. I'm really sorry for troubling you. <sighs> Let's think of another way. Another way? Uh, that's it! Didn't they say something about that? Oh, uh, what was it? Oh no, we're gonna clockwork him again. That got this guy to change his mind. I'm so sorry, guy. Can you perform it again? That uh, clocky magic. Oh no, oh no, just what I've been waiting for. Please. Oh my god. Well, I'm sorry, man. 
Sorry. No can everyone, please. I'm gonna make him sad. You you lot insist on doing this. Sorry, but human lives and the family's reputation are at stake. Oh no. It is imperative we know everything about the case. Rip this guy. No, I meant to say. Do I really have to get down on my knees and grovel? <gasps> oh my god. If you don't mind. <sighs> I, I didn't think you were the type who would kick someone when they were down. If that's the case, I'll just have to acquiesce to everyone's wishes. <laughs> Lower my esteemed head and plead with oh my everyone. God. Uh, no, no, no. I feel bad uh, now. No. <laughs> Standing is just fine. You don't need to do that. Hmm. Looks like... You have to think of a way to comfort him. Okay, time to make you happy. <sighs> Let me see what time it is now. Whoa! It's this time already. Time to clock out. And no one's gonna stop me. Oh, that was the answer all along? All right, he just left. Goodbye. Uh, what? Huh? <laughs> uh, this clockwork trick of yours, it's kind of dangerous. At least he won't be getting in our way again. Let's go find that Gallagher and ask him the intricacies of the case. I was wondering what all the commotion was. Huh. Oh, it's hey you guys. Gallagher. Welcome. Since you made it here, what can I do for you? I, uh... Hello, Mr. Gallagher, sir. Judging from your tone, it sounds like you were expecting us. <laughs> Miss Himako, you're too polite. There's no need to call me sir. Mr. Gallagher, you even know my name. Mm. Of course I do. You folks are from the legendary Astral Express and honorable guests of the Watchmaker. I had an encounter with this gentleman in the golden hour. I remember that little I'm glad he remembers girl was there me. too. I'm sorry for what happened to that kid. That's exactly what the family ordered us this to investigate. This is also the reason why we've come to visit you, Mr. Gallagher. The Express can't just overlook the death of that child. So we've decided to help the family get to the bottom of it. In the hopes of getting justice for her. The Nameless, involved with the family. What an unpredictable twist of fate. Why? What's wrong with the family? Uh, it's nothing. On Penicone, everyone loves the family. But? No matter how much one resists the beautiful dream, when the time comes, they too will find it hard to let go. Who wants to leave a warm nest? Just idiots, little kids. And inebriated fools. Mr. Gallagher seems to be getting at something. But you got it wrong. I'm not. You want to discuss the case? Sure. Come with me. This is not a good place to talk. Let's go elsewhere. Are you gonna make me a drink, Mr. Gallagher? Please. Even after that chilling tragedy this dream is still running effortlessly other than the family of the harmony it's hard to imagine any other power in the universe that could sustain a building of such magnitude the family itself is a huge perfect building like a living idol hmm. each member of the family sees oh, themselves yeah. as a kind piece of like a monolith the puzzle revolving around a singular core and a shared ideal under their command, they loyally fulfill their roles, offering themselves while also receiving sustenance in return. Mm -hmm. Interesting analogy. Perhaps that's why Penicone's beautiful dream has persisted for so long. But the human body has its limits, and so does the Divines. That doesn't sound like the kind of comment a Galaxy Ranger would make. Just pointing out the facts. Mr. Yang will definitely have a better sense of what's going on than I do. Why do you say that, Miss Acheron? <laughs> Sparkle? <laughs> the beautiful dream is crumbling. Mr. Yang? But not because of a particular oh, okay. eon, so just a particular to him in third person. or particular visitor. Weird. Its collapse stems from a certain inevitability of human nature. 
The family refuses to acknowledge this, and it has ultimately backfired and become a catalyst. As people immerse their souls in the dreamscape, where consequences and pain cease to exist, and only ease and pleasure prevail, they draw closer and closer to necrosis. Oh my god. Regardless of the perceived bliss, death looms as the inevitable conclusion. Uh-huh. Also, this necrosis will diffuse and spread. One piece of the puzzle's mutation will eventually cause the entire building to shake, break, and crumble. Holy shit. <laughs> in the end, the dreams that people built in the name of freedom became the cage that imprisoned them. I'm sure you've gained a lot from this trip, Miss Acheron. Are you willing to share your findings with me? Of course. That's if I remember. Hey, yo. Wait. Dude, that was... Okay, no. Mm. Uh, bro. <sighs> Don't mind me. It's just a habit. Owing to events in the past, I've become easily... Forgetful. It's only when this sword is unsheathed. I thought he was gonna strike well. Memories start to become clearer. Take your time. <laughs> that should do it. I vividly remember everything that occurred on Penacomi. Ask away. Wow. Regarding the moment of daybreak. The moment of daybreak. I've heard that's where the Dawn Factory, which processes the foundation of the dreamscape, is located. Behind the dreamscape's song and dance stand many imagination factories. Workers create all kinds of whimsical works day in and day out in their dreams. Then they return to reality and sleep on a narrow bed in a room. A far cry from luxury, they say it will suffice. Experiencing the bizarre and motley dreamscape is the best reward. There I encountered a young woman who had just come of age. The perfect time to indulge in beautiful dreams. Her greatest wish was to one day move to the golden hour and see the magnificent garments she had woven with her own hands. For certain reasons, her wish was difficult to fulfill. But I managed to bring her a garment. Regarding the Gilded Hour. Gilded Hour. It's said to be Penacone's currency center. Yes. It is a fortress-like financial city, the economic heart of the dreamscape. The Papeshi people of the Alfalfa family are there to keep it running, sending blood that is made from money everywhere. Damn, Penacone. blood made from money. Everyone there is exquisitely dressed and always in a hurry. The greatest wish of the local Papeshi people is for their future generations to work in the Gilded Hour. I've never met anyone who is willing to talk. I could only stand at the crossroads, watching crowds of people hurrying like the wind through the jungle of steel only to deposit the alfalfa credits that they'd earned into the bank's vault. I don't know if they would open the vault door, but before I left, I witnessed a well-dressed Papeshi person plummet from the sky. All those around him continued on their way. Whoa. Unfazed. Blue I hour. Hear the blue hour is uh, very romantic. Do you have any tales to share? Perhaps Mr. Yang has heard. There is a large boat called the Aventide, anchored along the Sea of Dreams, where soft music and dancing persist endlessly every night. I ran into a wizened lady there. She was at the dock, waiting for her long-departed lover to return, waiting for countless hours within time that stood still. Mm. In the humid sea breeze, she spoke of her own youth. Like many who desired wealth and love, they came to Panacone to pursue their dreams. Alas, her lover's consciousness was lost in the dark depths of the Sea of Dreams. Finally, she suggested we continue our conversation on a boat in the shallows. I agreed and boarded the boat with her. But she never said anything. Her eyes absent-mindedly gazing at the horizon for what seemed like forever. Okay, chat, do any of Finally, these- Finally, we retreated to the beach. Like, accounts or stories? remind you of something i feel like i don't know if we're supposed to know what exactly she's referring to or if there's like some some lore that i'm not aware of but 
the dreamscape of chic luxury and consumerism, the moment of dusk. My companions have been there too. Then you all must have seen those who are attempting to realize their dreams. Or have realized them. Scattering money as if it were dust and betting it on all or nothing. Everything has a price. And everything can be bought or sold. Even dreams themselves. I saw an Intellitron there, who was preparing to auction himself. When someone wins a bid, under stipulated periods and rules, he would do the buyer's every bidding, becoming that person's very possession. That Intellitron had been auctioned off a dozen times, and I participated in his 13th. That was the grandest banquet I had ever attended. But never again did anyone cast another glance at him. This time around, there were no successful bids for him. This is what I've seen and heard along the way. Someone once said to me, Kanakoni wasn't like this a long time ago, nor should it be. I've traveled through the reality and dreamscape of the planet of festivities, watched the tides of night rise and fall when time stopped for people where the spirits of the rich and impoverished remain forever fixed on their own scales. This is why I think the collapse of the beautiful mm. dream is inevitable. Has she, has she been there for there a while? There might be a way to change everything. Perhaps. But if this is indeed the world that people desire, if this is precisely why life chooses to slumber, should we still seek to change it? Oh, damn. <sighs> Miss Acheron, now it's my turn to share a story with you. There was a man from my homeland who, at a time when the world was grappling with deep, unhealable pain, made a choice. He wove together the dreams of everyone in the world, linking people's dreamscapes and shouldered this burden himself. From this, he created a giant. Spiritual, a spiritual Adam. spiritual Adam. And since that moment, the giant stood between heaven and earth, becoming the pillar of the world's existence. As a price, those who found it hard to move forward, who could not advance, forever lost their future. They slumbered in a dream, devoid of disaster and pain, living out their days peacefully in the man's created utopia. And it is because of the wishes of those people who wished not to awaken that this spiritual Adam became unbreakable. Mm. And yet, you stand here right now, mm -hmm. which also means that and fail. Because people must always move towards the future. Even if human weaknesses make them pause when they truly cannot move forward, humanity will eventually seek a way to save itself. Damn. And that man, he was never a failure. Like everyone in that world, he etched the possibilities of human nature into his heart. He was the sun chaser of legend soaring towards the sky and embracing his final victory with his fall. He ascended to heights uncharted, only to come face to face with the sun, a place not visited by anyone before. His wings would melt because of it, only for him to fall into the sea. And after that, countless others would surpass him soaring to even greater heights. A fitting metaphor for the Nameless's trailblazing spirit. Thank you, Mr. Yang. I know what you wish to confirm. The universe has innumerable similar, yet different, worlds. In these worlds, there are innumerable people who look alike, yet don't. I, too, have embarked on journeys encountering old friends with familiar faces on different worlds. Oh my god. 
witnessing the destiny's it? hollow paths similar to mine. So I will tell you. Even if not completely similar. Oh. The story you just told. It overlaps with my past. Oh, and within damn. that abyssal dream. Oh, damn. I ended that man's life. Alone. Oh. <sighs> I am not who you think I am. Oh. Nor will my home be as fortunate as your world. Damn. I am sorry. <gasps> it's fine. I don't mind. So long as I can alleviate your suspicion. He basically just asked, "Are you right in me?" She was like, "No, I'm not right in me." I still wish to know, Miss Acheron. <laughs> Under that representation of the hunt, exactly what sort of power is it that has motivated your solitary journey thus far, Mr. Yang? Before answering that question, I wish to continue the previous topic. Oh, okay. Yeah, go ahead. I like your analogy very much. Indeed, birds are born to fly. But in a distant past, their ancestors could only gaze at the sky in envy. They saw that faraway ray of light from above the heavens, piercing through the clouds and blanketing the earth. And so, time and time again, generation after generation, the birds spread their wings and took to the sky, attempting to touch its ceiling. All because the sun was there. Then, what if the last bird finally soars into the sky, only to realize that the end of the light is not the sun, but darkness? Oh my god. Then why, exactly, do we even walk towards the light? Oh my god. <sighs> Long time no see. Having fun on Penacony? Acheron. This voice. Is that it's Boot Hill or constant. something? It sounds like Could he has a twang. Companion? Though I don't know exactly what you are, or what you're up to, my bullets will find you. Oh my god. Until then, you best find a casket store on Pentacony and ask the owner to reserve a good quality casket for you. I, I bet it's Boot Hill. Imposter? I see. She gave my whereabouts to someone who's tracking Acheron too. Not the booty hole. <laughs> Who are you? Boot Hill. <laughs> huh? Uh, did I make a mistake? <laughs> uh, who the heck are you? I'm the Garden of Recollections memo keeper. Is I? <laughs> Boot Hill. <laughs> Not bad. This is the kind of tough challenge I like. You that imposter's bodyguard? Bro. Nah, never mind. <sighs> it's fine. I'll leave a round for you. So get that forehead clean, and wait for me. I don't Bro. know what you're talking about, but you know Acheron, the Galaxy Ranger? Yes. I have something to ask you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Are you asking me to write your will? Sure. Go ahead. Damn. Not quite. I only want to ask... How exactly did she become a Galaxy Ranger? Mm-hmm. <sighs> Tell us. She's clearly not a path strider of the hunt, but you are, aren't you? Tell me, what's Acheron's deal? Everyone is dying to know. <laughs> sure. Heck, never thought I'd come across an ally. What a stroke of luck. Oh, well, <laughs> I'll be on Penacone soon. Uh, memo keeper, go buy a bottle of his Donna's white oak and warm it up, and I'll raise a glass to you. That lady's past. <laughs> well, 
Nobody knows. But if all you want is a simple answer, sure. You best get a chair and take a seat. That woman, named Acheron, mm -hmm. is an emanator who should not exist. Wow. Thanks for telling us that. That's... <laughs> we totally didn't know that yet. <laughs> Wow, Dr. Rasha has the audacity you to just smirk pale. at Aventurine, bro. that also part of your act? <sighs> I didn't think you'd have the nerve to show yourself. But Boot Hill made his I cameo. I thought this was exactly what you wanted. After all, I faithfully fulfilled my duties as you instructed. Just tell me if you can't hold on any longer. So, the genius of the Council of Mundanites wants to be my undertaker now. <laughs> my, what an honor. So true. Yes, and I'm pretty sure the people at the Strategic Investment Department would love to be notified of your death in due time. But let's not forget, you won't be seeing them, because I'm the manager of this task. Great. Then tell your people that Aventurine is ready to go in 17 system hours. Oh, you've got a lot of nerve. How exactly do you plan on completing your task while your hands are tied by the harmony? <laughs> Aventurine's like, My nah, I'd win. My Sunday convinced me that there's a traitor in the family. That they hold the secrets of Panacone. So, I took the opportunity to set everything in motion. I even managed to recover the gift money. <laughs> Things haven't gone this smoothly since I walked through the doors of the reverie. Now I'm only one step away from victory. Let's just wait and see. Sounds like a very elaborate way <laughs> of saying that you failed. Oh. <laughs> That's all I can say. Have you forgotten, Doctor? You betrayed me. Go. Do what you must. I look forward to the sight of the IPC fleet surrounding Panacone. You've achieved what you desired, haven't you? Mm. That's true, but what's your plan? Did you conceal an orbital support beacon in that gift money bag? Well, who knows? Maybe that's why I'm handing out cash, even when I'm about to bite the dust. You are indeed a gambler. An insane one at that. Well, maybe I am. Who knows? <sighs> Fine. Here, take this. Open it when you're on your last legs. You'll thank me. What's uh? this? Medical advice? Oh, he gone. <laughs> Is that supposed to save him? You catch on pretty fast, Doctor. <laughs> Oof. Harmony's I'm haunting him. You to solve a case without giving a single clue. How typical of you, you wing headed scoundrel. But the way you're all on edge about that stowaway, <laughs> it's just as I guessed it would be. As for now, let the rain of wealth from the IPC fall evenly on everyone. Monday night's insight to Icarus. Distribute gems and ask around for clues regarding the stowaways. Would you be willing to support my performance? And keep the song of beauty alive in the cosmos? Wow, how fabulous! But why would you give such a wonderful gift to a random stranger like me? Because well, they're worthless. You see, they're I worthless, girl. Can't bear to see anyone in this sweet dream suffering from poverty. That's incredibly kind of you. Thank you so much, sir. If you ever get the chance, please feel free to come by and indulge in my singing. <laughs> sure thing. Oh, by the way. Do you happen to know anything what interesting What a totally about random question. Death? Death? That's a pretty scary topic, and it doesn't really match the mood of this sweet dream. Mm-hmm. 
Well, you see, I'm a tabloid reporter collecting ghost stories in Panicone. <laughs> As you know, the more okay, bro. the stories, the more attention they get. <laughs> Maybe you could help me out. Well, if you're up for some gossip, it's not about death. But there have been some rumors about a guest at the Reality Hotel who fell into a deep sleep and didn't wake up. Wait, what? It was like they were in some sort of coma. Nobody knows what caused it, but luckily the customer eventually regained consciousness. Well, all customers are under yeah, the protection sure. of the family, after all. <laughs> Thank you. This will make for a very juicy headline. May she pay protect us? Unexplained coma. That's actually what happens to your body if your brain dies in a dream. Or did they? But unfortunately, the customer ended up waking up in the end. Or did they? I can feel something inside my head. Is the harmony starting to kick in? Why is the harmony so scary? <laughs> the world has truly lost its way. You wait. I get it now. <laughs> this is some sort of prank show. Oh right? no. You must have some camera set up around here oh, to no. film yourself doing good deeds, right? No, there are no cameras, I swear. <laughs> you youngsters are always looking for a quick way to Not get Not the call office. out. But you know what? A truly great show never comes easy. <laughs> a great show will start soon, old man. But before that, I need to ask you something. Do you know where I can find death in this dream? Ah, I see. Another fearless youngster looking for death. Oh, huh? well. Let me give you a piece of advice. Don't think you're the first one who's ever <gasps> thought of that idea. Okay. Death? Not even remotely innovative. I bought it from Dr. Edward. He claimed it was some exclusive fancy schmancy stuff. What a disappointment. The effects were horrible. First, some monster covered what? in eyes stabs you in the gut. And then all you see are blurry glimpses of buildings and lights. Dude. The sky was spinning so fast it almost made me puke. Is that all? Yeah. What else can you expect? Don't put too much stock in the Penacone movie industry. They even called this junk groundbreaking art. Can you believe it? <laughs> what a joke. Well, I'll leave you be then. I hope you have a wonderful day. A monster covered in eyes. Mm. That sounds like the memory zone meme. But buildings and lights. I don't think those have anything to do with death. Oh, that whole dream bubble was probably created using rumors and gossip. <laughs> movie? Oh, he's a movie critic? Okay. <sighs> the disturbing voice in my Dr. head. Dr. Edward, I know. Butchie! <sighs> it's getting closer. Butchie Chen! A sip of liquor. A blissful reprieve. To drown a thousand sorrows. Let worries leave. <laughs> I know I have what it takes to become a poet. I got these damn oh? you. <laughs> you, you're giving these gems to me? Didn't expect to meet such a generous soul in this place. Bushy the Rock, <laughs> yeah. Or are you just pitying me? Well, it really doesn't matter. As long as I have Soul Glad. Oh, okay. That's enough. This is just a dream after all. So true. <laughs> Keep telling yourself that, buddy. You really shouldn't drink so much soul glad, my friend. It's not good for your health. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I really should quit. But on the rocks. <laughs> meeting the devil of soul glad. What? <laughs> the devil of soul glad? Care to elaborate? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a seahorse with a long neck. Uh, they say it loves to appear to drunk people, especially the ones who are passed out 
on the side of the road. Oh, <laughs> how funny! <laughs> yeah, very funny indeed. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Uh, does everyone have to go through so much torment before joining the family? Uh, darn it! <laughs> now I just want to dig out my brain and use it as evidence. Hi, Woolsey. Take care, my friend. If you ever find yourself in danger, remember that the hounds are always ready to help. <sighs> We're here to bribe the hounds. The expression on this hunk of a man was complex. <laughs> You don't look good, my friend. If you need assistance, I can contact the hotel and have them wake you up forcefully. That won't be necessary. I have some business to attend to. But thank you all the same. This hunk of a man. All right, then. If you ever need help, don't hesitate to reach out to us hounds. Well, actually, I do need a favor. As the most outstanding... Standing hound in Panacone. Have you come across any <laughs> stowaways recently? Stowaways? How could there be stowaways in Panacone? Well, we've never had anything like that before. Man doesn't know. <laughs> All right. Good luck with your work then. Ugh, what was I even thinking? Family would never share intel with the IPC. <laughs> Oh my god, we have to distribute more gems. Okay. Uh, were you wanting to talk to me? Sorry, I thought you were checking out something behind me. Well, yeah, there's a chest behind you. Is this a gift for me? A are you sure this isn't some kind of mistake? Yes, it's for you. <laughs> Just take it. Is this for real? Someone is actually giving me a gift. <laughs> Not for my parents, but for me. Thank you. Thank you so much. No, oh, it's not much. I just want to ask you something. I knew oh, it. no. What's on your mind? Who are your are parents, you bro? Are my father or my mother? We don't care about your parents. Um, neither. I just wanted to know if you've ever heard about death in the dreamscape. Oh, you sound just like my father. Always warning me about danger, even in dreams. He's an Intellitron, so his dream entry methods are different from us organics. Oh? Can't count on him to protect me if something does go haywire. Funny, right now I'm still under his protection. <laughs> How ironic. Hey, stay positive. Gold will always shine one day, right? <laughs> Oh my god. Help him. Not enough. You want to talk to me? His father's a robot. Yeah. Sure. Don't ask me but how that sense how him, he was okay? conceived. <laughs> huh. Wealthy people have fancy ways to enjoy this dream. But to be honest, I've never seen anyone who gives out money to others like you. So, are you trying to be the prince from the tale, handing out his gold leaf garment and melting his lead heart in the fire? Oh. <laughs> I'm flattered. I'm no prince, and I just thought these gems would help you speak. So, as an investigative reporter, maybe you've heard something about death? Ah, oh, another curious soul. I see. I see. Well, that was actually the topic I was most into when I entered the industry. But my boss shut it down. Now did your boss talk you out of it? Well... She simply said, covering baseless urban legends like that would make us look like some third-rate tabloid. Aventurine posing as a third-rate tabloid. And she had a point. Reporting on stuff like blowing out birthday candles and getting spooked by nightmare ghosts isn't exactly professional material. Mm, guess she's got a point. Thank you for sharing. Hmm. The devil of soul glad. Dangers in the dream. Oh yeah, it's a long quest, definitely. Oh, but Remember he's getting weak. Said, you Sigonians are better off hiding in the sewers. Huh? Sparkle. Look oh, it's you, Sparkle. Snooping around and sticking your nose everywhere. 
Is the smell of death so enticing, my fine fellow? <laughs> I was wondering when she'd show oh, up you, again. masked fool. I should have guessed it. You're the imposter who appeared on TV after Robin's death, right? Can she sing like I heard you like got Robin? caught by the family. I gave you a clear clue. Befriend a mute. Simple and straightforward, you know? And what did you do? You messed it up and ended up as their prisoner. I told you to make friends with a mute, not become one yourself. You really let me down. What do you mean? You know better than I do. Who watched the little songbird that couldn't sing perish right before their eyes? You did, Blondie. Uh, no, I, I mean... What did you mean by becoming one myself? Well, it means you'll soon end up like her, unable oh, to speak no. ever again. Well... <laughs> but it's a good thing if you ask me, because... Because I'm getting closer to the truth, right? Oh? Why else do you think I'm handing out cheap trinkets all over the streets, fool? All part of the act. Fool's bait. The more pathetic I seem, the more likely you'll come sniffing around. So, now that I've drawn you out, will you reward me with an answer for my efforts? Why should I help you? Don't you want to see Panacone descend into... <laughs> chaos? <laughs> well, I can make that happen. I just need an answer to one question. Back then, when you asked me to find a mute, did you really mean Robin? Ooh. It's the bird mm. again! We know this bird. This bird is in Sunday's I office. No? Then I'll thank you. <laughs> oh, the word no has never sounded so pleasing. <laughs> well done. I admit I underestimated you, but what difference would it make? Am I gonna finish it all? I... I don't know. I mean, I could. I'm tempted to. Let me tell you something. There were two mutes, but one is dead now, and the other... Though he's still in Penacony, I'm afraid you'll never find him again. Huh? Who's that? Now I'm completely sure that I was on the right track from the beginning and never strayed, fool. Right now, there are only two things missing from my grasp. The meaning behind the truth and the means to expose it. <laughs> How impressive. That's <laughs> quite a fancy way of saying I haven't learned anything so far. Everyone dissing Aventurine. Not exactly. I've gathered enough clues to prove its existence. And that's enough for me. As for the answers to my questions, I'll find them within 17, no, 16 system hours. Oh, really? Only 16 system hours? Well, let me lend you a hand. Here you go. This is my precious, mutually assured distraction button. And I have one just like it. When either of us presses it, the other and the whole of Panacone will go up in smoke. What? If you're really so desperate for the IPC to take over Panacone, blowing up the chessboard isn't a bad idea. Start from scratch. That's where the IPC excels. She right? can do that? Why did she have that? A hobby like. Just press the button when you're at your wit's end. And of course, feel free to reach out to me for my hospice care, too. Is it Misha? I was thinking Misha. Oh, a deadly button, huh? <laughs> well, I guess the family didn't take your threat seriously at all. Otherwise, how on earth did you manage to bring it in here? <laughs> I have my own ways. That's all you need to know. <laughs> Well, I'm afraid I'll have to decline your offer. Who knows if your little gadget will actually work. By the way, 
I have no plans to search for the other mute friend you speak of. But it's good to hear that he's still here in Penico. We haven't seen Misha at all this... I'll handle the rest myself. Quest. I'll orchestrate a grand finale for the downfall of the family. <laughs> and at the climax, the walls will crumble, people will wake up, and those who couldn't speak will find their voices again. And Robin will become playable. When that time comes, <laughs> go ahead, press the button, Light up the sky with a magnificent fireworks display for me. Catch you later, fool. <laughs> You're still talking big. But sure, if that happens, I'll stay true to my word. Just don't let me down now, okay? Hmm. Oh. So, number 35, you're back. Like your new lucky charm. Whoa. Can a commodity code really be considered a lucky charm? Silence! I didn't give you permission to speak, you Sigonian hound. <sighs> the guys in black didn't say much. So I've no idea what you did to save your skin in that massacre back in the day. But I figured you must have had good luck. So I bought you. From now on, you and your good luck are my assets. <laughs> are we clear? Your first task is simple. In addition to you, I've purchased 30, uh, well, 34 other slaves. Go and play a game with them. <laughs> you came out alive after two days. It proves that you are the real deal. You're insane. <laughs> Testing out if you're a good product. Aren't you worried that the money you spent on me will go to waste? I've got stacks on stacks, Blondie. The slave market is never short of self-righteous brats like you. But you look good. And that's why many customers are betting their fortunes on a scrawny brat like you. So go along now and uh, don't let your master down. How much did you spend? What? My price. How much did you pay... for me? Huh. You really want to know? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, it was 60 tanba. No more, no less. I'll take my chances. 30 tanba. If I come back alive, you'll give me 30 tanba. Deal? <laughs> Are you trying to strike a bet with me? Oh, <laughs> you've got some guts. Yeah, sorry, but uh, that won't do. Don't forget your place, slave. You're not qualified to be at the table. You're just a chip, a light thrown away in someone else's hands. Either you come back with more chips for your master, or you never come back. It's all or nothing. Don't embarrass me, my lucky hound. We're getting all these adventuring <laughs> flashbacks here, I did not expect. <sighs> Some friends from the old days. Do you have a moment to spare, Siobhan? Oh, I have the whole day to spare. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dream Jolt Hostelry. This bar offers a wide variety of drinks, but we draw the line at Soul Glad. Why sell <laughs> for ordinary when you can experience extraordinary? We're dedicated to serving up nothing but pure joy and laughter. What would you like to drink? I'll whip it up for you. 
Oh, look! A lady as cool as Serval! <laughs> a lady as cool as Serval, so true! Who's Serval? Will you uh, introduce me to her? Huh? <laughs> Shabbat is down. Just spare them, my esteemed bartender. I'll take over the bar today. Oh, okay. I'm getting up there in age, and I need some practice before I forget the skills that used to put food on my table. Uh, where did you stash the ingredients? They're all under the counter. Since our guests have traveled from afar, shouldn't you whip up some special drinks? That's exactly what I had in mind. <laughs> hey, my friends, do me a favor. Mm. Go around the bar and bring me any ingredients you fancy. Sure. Her the discussion might take quite yeah. some time. So I'll prepare some customized non-alcoholic drinks for you. Okay. In the bar? But aren't all the ingredients right there on the counter? Maybe there's a clue. Why, we're in a dream, my lovely lady. You can help yourself to anything if you wish for it. Comfort, hunger, confusion, or even boredom. It's all within reach, right at your fingertips. Oh, did you hear that? She just called me my lovely lady. <laughs> March 7th is sweet. Even in reality, mixing drinks is more than just throwing ingredients together. A bartender needs to capture the bar's atmosphere, master technique, and spin a tale of mystery and anticipation. Only then can a perfect drink crafted with a customer's life story be created. In other words, what you get from your drink is down to luck. So don't overthink it. Indecisiveness has no place when it comes to enjoyment. Why do the heathen rage? Uh, hey, look at all these chips scattered everywhere. A few days ago, an actor from the Iris family came. It caused a ruckus for Siobhan. Those chips must have gotten scattered during all the chaos. Can only imagine how intense nah, it must have been. It turned out to be a landslide victory. Uh, that being said, opening a bar in this place, filled with monsters, is quite a feat. Siobhan must have a lot of tricks up her sleeve, right? You'll have to ask her yourself to find out. But I have a feeling she won't budge unless you impress her with an incredible drink. <laughs> Okay, we have to make Siobhan an incredible drink. Collect ingredients for some drinks. Oh my gosh. I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna leave the safe zone. Uh, check out this bottle! The liquid inside looks beautiful! And the label reads, Dream Syrup, Thick. I don't see an expiration date, but the production date is half an amber era what? ago. Oh my god, that must Ugh. be... Drinking this stuff can't lead to anything good. It's well that's aged. That's for sure. Maybe it hasn't expired yet. Ugh. The syrup is turned clumpy. I definitely don't want to drink this, even if it's not expired. Did you find the bottle of syrup I've been hoarding? Oh my god. Don't worry, it's all just a dream, and it won't upset your stomach. It's been aging for years, and should have a refined taste by now. Feel free to have some. It's perfect for entertaining lovely guests like you. Okay, chat, would you uh, or would you not drink that? We'll keep it for now. Oh, that's quite a stash. Not sure if it's enough. I would. I would try. Stay it. out of. Uh huh. <sighs> Haven't I made myself clear enough, Miss Amaki? Would the Dream Jeweled would. Hostelry only welcomes guests who want to enjoy a drink to their heart's content? Hell no. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm not interested in your proposal. But you have the talent. You'll attract a huge audience. You're destined for the Iris stage, not for this rundown shack. Come with me. We'll become the talk of Panacone, a shining light into every corner of the dreamscape. Please, Siobhan, I really need you. Um. <sighs> As you see, I'm entertaining my guests. Don't make me repeat myself. Fine. 
If you don't come along, I'll just sit here and not go anywhere else. Give me a sparkling drink, sweet, with extra ice. <laughs> Why is she just so intensely? <laughs> one moment. Hey, yo. What's her deal? We can't discuss the case with other people hanging around the bar. Hey, can you do that clockwork trick of yours again? How come even you, Himiko? Time is running out. We need to hurry. Yeah. I'm counting on you. Hey, yo. Okay, chat, give me a second. I just need to check something. Oh, okay. You're one of Siobhan's guests, right? What can I do for you? If you're here to convince me to leave, please stop it. I'll never leave until she accepts my proposal. Oh my I gosh. just don't get why she won't leave this place. This rundown shack with no customers whatsoever. Anything can be imbibed. Perhaps you can try various experiments to see what different emotions can brew with different drink ingredients. Try reading her thoughts. Uh, angry. Those darn Irish jerks! They're the ones who forced Siobhan into hiding here, running this pesky bar. It's all their dirty scheming. Ah, I get it now. She's not leaving because she doesn't want to run into them again. Mm -hmm. I, I can help clear the way for her. I can do her a favor. I'll go back and write a letter to the Dream Master, exposing the crimes committed by the Iris family. Damn. Siobhan will definitely appreciate it. Chat, I, um, I'm not going to finish the entire thing today. I'm actually gonna finish it a little bit soon because, uh, because one of the guides is finally ready. It's cooked, chat. The Gallagher guide is ready, so I'll be wrapping this up soon, and we can you can head over to that. Things might get out of control if she gets any angrier. I need to come up with another plan. Actually, I think this is this is probably a good stopping point because I feel like once we get through Amiki. Once we get through Amiki, it's gonna be like a whole escalation scene and stuff. And Gallagher's gonna have to butt in. Like, I, I can see the direction this is going, okay? This is like a whole thing. This is a whole sequence right here. So you know what? We're gonna call it here. And I think I can try streaming the second half of Penaconi tomorrow. Most probably. But yeah. Oh my gosh. So chat. We are going to be letting out the Gallagher guide now. I will be wrapping up. You guys have a great rest of your day and a great rest of your night. And thank you for hanging out with me on this Penacony playthrough. I'll be finishing it tomorrow. And yeah, enjoy building your Gallagher, everyone. Mwah. Thank you mods for being here as well. See you all tomorrow. Similar time as last time. Maybe we'll start in the morning even earlier. I want to get through this like as much as I as soon as I can. <clears throat> all right, chat. Mwah. I appreciate you all.